What is going on, everyone? Welcome, welcome to Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Whatever the date is, I don't even know. And it's quarterfinals this weekend. I should, I should write songs. What do you reckon? I should write. I should, I should so write songs. I should. I'm not used to. I can sleep in till like nine o'clock. You know how awesome that is. Woohoo! No more getting up at. Okay, this weekend I'm getting up at three a.m. But it's all right. What's up? Welcome to Friday. Coffee's ready, everybody. Yay! Teams have named their teams. Yay! Jack, are we pissed off about Mark Talia? Yay! All is good in the world. All is good. I thought we'd start with the fantasy teams. I thought, well, well, you know, um, teams have named their sides, but. Sad as it is, only one team, really, since we last looked, has actually named their team, and that's that's the All Blacks, which is a bit controversial. What's up, Cabbage? Hope you're doing well, sir. I haven't seen you around for a couple of days, my friend. What's up? Are you good? Are you well? I was going to look at this. It's a shame it doesn't bring it up as like a, a website page. Which is a bit of a pain in the in the buttocks. Been working heaps. Ah, oh, that's a shame, dude. I hope you're all good though. Work sucks, right? When you when you get literally Oh, dude. When when work takes over your life, that's when things are bad. That's when things are really bad, my man. Why is my chat not working up there? I'm rather disappointed about that. Actually, I know why that might not be working. Let me, let me just have a little looky here. Now, if you would like to refresh yourself there. What's up, Gregor? Only four teams have been named. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Little, little bit of a refresh and look what happens. It all perfectly squiggles its way up there. Ireland, uh, All Blacks, Wales, and Argentina have been named. So, so far, so good. That's a shame you don't watch the World Cup, dude. Do you work during the World Cups on? Or are you just like, by the time you get home, you can't be asked staying up to the middle of the night to watch it? Because I can understand both situations, to be honest with you. Um, but game, but, but, yeah. Games have been good, right? They've been fun. I hope you've been at least able to catch some highlights. Highlights would be interesting. At least. But you still don't get that full experience like you do actually watching the, the actual full matchup. Like, especially some of these Minnow games, man. They've been they've been incredible. They have been incredible. So we're seeing the All Blacks lineup, which bizarrely I can't I don't know why. Um Let's just do it the old fashioned way, shall we? Let's just do it the old fashioned way. Surely they'll have something on here for me. Um, yeah, this team's a bit weird. It's a little bit weird. There's been some contentious decisions, shall we say. We'll chuck that over there, and we'll chuck that in there, and we'll wiggle it all the way over there. This is the team. It's all in text, just to completely throw yous all off. Completely throw yous all off. What's up, Fembi? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> How, how's your uh, Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. Woo! How's your Friday going? Now, the thing that is really weird, right? It's still Thursday for you? <laughs> it's Friday for me. Woohoo! It's almost 10 a.m. on a Friday. Yeah, it is almost 10 a.m. on a Friday. Good God. Uh, it takes so long to just get out, really. Happy Future Friday, right? Almost 10 p.m. for you. Let's push that. A buffer. What's up, Ants and Oz? How you doing? How's things? I hope you're well. A full 12 hour difference. It is, man. Yeah. How you doing, Ants? Welcome along. Welcome to the team, dude. Today, well. 
today, just so you know, since you're a newcomer around here, um, we're just chilling, man. We're just chilling. We're going to look at the teams. Um, going to look at our fantasy team. We're going to double check our predictions. Um, maybe play some games. I don't know. We normally we watch the World Cup game, but today we're just chilling out. We normally stream Friday morning, so we're here. We're back. We're going to just do a regular, regular stream since the World Cup has kind of toned off a little bit. Um, but of course, we do match day uh, commentaries as well. So if you tune into the game, you want to have a chat with all these lovely people um, that flounder themselves in and out of the chat. Uh, you're more than welcome, dude. You're more than welcome. Uh, we normally have quite a, a big contingent of... What should we call them? Passionate rugby fans, right, Cabbage? <laughs> a lot of people that come in and... Yeah, get involved. Love it. So, um, welcome along, sir. Welcome along. What are your thoughts on this team? Well, I saw it this morning when I woke up and I was like... Why Finley Christie? That's the biggest question I've got. Why bloody Finley Christie? He's an absolute plonker. Absolute, I, I don't know, what, can we, I just want to leave him in Scotland. Can we just leave him in Scotland, please? Just drop him off the side of the plane. I mean, parachute optional, I'm not worried either way. <laughs> so true, my team. I don't know how we got in the team. Oh, the way, the way Roy Guard's been playing. And then they still pick him on the bench. It's like, pff, pff. I'm blown away by that one. I do understand the Leicester thing. Apparently, Mark Talia has been getting a little bit of that stuff with um with a, another team member, right? So that's why he's in trouble. He's broken team protocol. Naughty, naughty. Now, that's what's funny is... um. Jack will be absolutely livid. Because <laughs> he thinks Talia is, you know, best thing since sliced bread. Now he's not even in the team. So Jack's going to have to change his uh, fantasy side up a bit. Um, also surprising is they've gone with the two old hookers. Now, it's not something people normally prefer as two old hookers. Um, but <laughs> Cody Taylor and Dane Coles. Learned to get a little bit of mongrel with Dane Coles, right? We'll see how that goes. That could be interesting. You're jumping on the All Blacks bandwagon? Are you cabbage? Jeez. I don't know about this. Like, the, the core of the team is all right. I do think that Leicester needs to up his defensive abilities, right? If he's going to start on that wing, he needs to be a lot better defensively. Even Uruguay was getting on the outside of him. And he, he was lazy in chase, right? That's what I just disliked about it. Get beaten on the outside, but chase the guy back, man. Put in some commitment. Like, he just would trot around and be like, oh, crap. He's got past me again. Oh, no. What should I ever do? Um, so that's that concerns me. When Ireland have gone, you know, Mac Hanson, James Lowe. Uh, so Leicester will be up against Hanson. I have, I have no problems with Lowe against Jordan at all. What's up, Arch? How you doing, dude? Happy Friday. We're just chilling today, dude, so... If you want to chat anything or whatever, just just shout out. This is your guy's stream. <laughs> whatever you guys want to do. I'm just having a coffee and, and waking up, man. That's what I'm doing. If you're the crap, mate, Scotland got beat. That too, that was a week ago, man. You still not feeling well about that? Well, that is the thing, my T. You're right. No, you're, yes, 100%. I don't have a problem with the Leicester selection. I just want him to play better, if that makes sense. I want him to be a bit more defensively focused, right? I love his attacking play. Attacking-wise, he's phenomenal. He's incredible. But I just feel like his defensive efforts were lackluster. Not just the fact he got beaten, I can live with that, but the fact of his, the way he kind of, his attitude towards it. Where he could have been like, you know, dug in and, and had a big, you know, crack back. But he just didn't. That's that's what I have a problem. But yeah, you're right. There's no one else. And, and I, I do have no problem with Leicester being there. Um, After Talia, I mean, even with Talia, that left wing has never really been sorted um, for the All Blacks at all. It's never been sorted. It's never been right. It's never been fixed. It's never been a strength, right? 
Talia was just a guy that come in. Caleb Clark's garbage. Um, yeah, and who else? What's up, Patrick? Big game of the weekend. Yeah, four big games this weekend, dude. If Fiji can play well with the ball, they could cause England problems. Well, they already beat them, what, a month ago? No, two months ago, right? So, why not? I feel crap. What? They were playing tonight in the football. Oh, no. Scotland played football tonight. Oh, no. What happened, Arch? What happened in the football tonight? How bad was it? Who are they playing? Scotland's not having a good run right now, are they? Scotland's not having a good time of life at all. Absolute disaster. Ah, oh, dearing me. Crazy stuff, right? Crazy stuff. I also think, what do you guys reckon about this? Ireland, Ireland are a bit um, running on fumes. Not that much running on fumes, but they're running at the stretch of their uh, capabilities. As in, they've played the most minutes per player than any team in the quarterfinals. I think it was average of 250 minutes per player or something like that. I'll see if I find that uh, little bit of stats. I probably can't find it now. It'll be miles away. Oh, jeez. I just saw that. The South African cricket team absolutely demolished Australia. Wow. Completely demolished them. You can by all means have Daly or Malins. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't mind Max Malins, but not as a winger. That's for sure. Hey, Daly and Malins are all right players. You just got to play them in the right positions, mighty, right? They're midfielders or... Fullbacks, maybe. Okay, Malins can work on fullback. Daily, uh, maybe. Maybe daily. But midfield, in the midfield, they, they're great, right? Got beat 2 0. Wing only. <laughs> Jeez, you're putting conditions on your trades here, my T. I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. Got beat 2 0. But we never got a penalty and a goal disallowed that shouldn't have been disallowed. And Spain got two good gifted goals. Oh, well, it's Spain, man. Spain are a bad team. But still. But still. I, I agree. I, I see. I mean, I see how you'll be disappointed. Well, you need to shift your focus back to the rugby arch. And um, you need to find yourself a new team, man. Find a new team. Like, you've only got eight left, but, you know. Jump on the Fijians like the rest of the world is. Wales, All Blacks, England, and Springboks going to the semi finals. Aaron, okay. Right. Wales. Wales to, um, to beat Argentina, right? All Blacks beat Ireland. England to beat Fiji. South Africa to beat um, France. Wow. I mean, a couple of big calls, right? A couple of big calls. It is back to the rugby. Good stuff, Arch. Welcome back. Welcome back. Who are you supporting, Arch? Who's your picks for this weekend? We'll have a look at those in a second. Because um, I actually know who I've picked now. It's been like two days, and I'm completely up the marbles. What's up, Fallon? You just woke up. Your sleep schedule was bad. I don't know. I, I haven't woken up not long ago either. Um, probably like an hour ago. My sleep schedule's garbage too. It's the World Cup's fault. That's what it is. Getting up at 3 a.m., it's just not, that doesn't work. Does not work. I was trying to see. Yeah, I know it's 10 a.m. <laughs> I only woke up at like 9. That's how bad mine is. I was trying to see the stat uh, sheet where it had. Um. The minutes played. That was a big thing. And France have played incredible, incredible amount of minutes compared uh, to every other team in the finals. Oh, it might be. Is it these guys? No, they just do predictions, those guys. It was one of those one of those uh, Twitter accounts that do the whole
stats thing, right? <laughs> I was just looking at, they had some funny graphs there. What on earth does that mean? I don't even know. Anyway, <clears throat> not to worry. Not to worry. Um, you post team Discord? Cool, cool. You think Dupont will start on the bench? Gregor. Ah, oh, do you reckon? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I seen that Brooks got uh, ejected. <laughs> what a clown. What an absolute clown. He's going to get ejected like all season long, man. He's he's going to get just kicked out every single game. It'll, it'll just be dancing on the sideline doing his little, you know, little dance. That's all he cares about. He just cares about doing his little dances. Doesn't care about the basketball. Fallon, what are you on about? He doesn't care about that. When do we get the French team? And when do we get the uh, spring, the spring box are last? What the hell? That's really weird. Springboks are normally like the first team to name their team. <laughs> your team sucks, your team. They're just, they're pacing their preseason, dude. They're pacing their preseason for the start of the actual season. There's no way I'm getting a new team. No way. Way too invested, man. Way too invested. I can't believe they've not named their team the Springboks. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. The draw for the World Cup must not be done too early. Well, I, I don't think they're going to change it. I don't think they're going to change it. 24 years later, Australia will host the World Cup. With, with or without Eddie? Hey, what's going to happen with Eddie? What's happening with Eddie? What do you guys think has happened with Eddie? Is he going to Japan? Surely, right? Surely he's gone. Surely he's gone to Japan. He's out of here. He is so gone. I can't believe he didn't deny it. But he like talked about, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Don't know what you're talking about. Nah, no, nah, I'm committed to Australia, mate. Don't know what you're talking about. And then literally out for a week. And it's like, go and sign for Japan, mate. Yeah, screw the Wallabies. What an absolute clown. What an absolute clown. So I'm I'm quite happy with my team, actually. No one I've picked is on the bench. Gallo is starting. Kramer is starting. Cam Roygaard stays at the Hurricanes for three more years. Is he? Well, I, have, I have no idea about his contract status, Patrick. You'd hope so. He's the best number nine post-World Cup in New Zealand rugby by far. By far. You, you think they'll be a bit annoyed if they lost him, right? They lost, they'll be huge. They'll be massive if they lost him for that. They'll be crazy. I don't know how long this contract's for, but I'll take your word for it. Oh, they wish they probably signed him for eight years, right? <laughs> That's how bad it is. Right, we got Gallo starting. What's up, Jack? How you doing, sir? How's Mark Talia doing, Jack? Just let me know. How, how's Mark Talia doing? <laughs> oh, I knew you'd come in sooner or later, Jack, and have a rant. Oh, good, dude. It's Friday. World Cup's almost back again. My arm's working. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story time. My arm, like, completely buggered out. <laughs> it, like, wouldn't work yesterday. Uh, do you know what I read in the comment, Jack? That he was doing a little bit of the, um, little bit of the nasty with one of the dietitians or something. You know, hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Why not? You shot up. I don't know what I did, dude. It just started getting really sore, and then it's like literally couldn't move it. And then now today it's all good. I can move it fine. So I don't know what the hell went on. I'm broken, man. I'm broken. Yeah, fair play. I agree. I mean, geez, you're away in France for like two months. You need to you need to um, you need to uh, fulfil those uh, requirements, right? <laughs> Might have to change a couple of players. Archie, you looking at dude? We can try and help you if you want, because I think I'm looking good. 
I see the way for England, uh, Fiji, and France, actually. I could be wrong, though, Jack. I, I read that, and I was, yeah, it, it's just, uh, yeah, I don't know how true that is, but, I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean, Aaron Smith in the, in the toilets at the airport, it's the same as that, right? So, who knows? Can't believe it's Thursday already. It's, it's Friday, dude. Fallon, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're a day behind, Fallon. What are you on about? Hey, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that. Ooh, freaky. It's Thursday in Scotland. You have a Fallon's in New Zealand, same as me. And he's, he's saying it's Thursday. <laughs> he's probably supposed to be somewhere. He's probably got an appointment. He's probably like, oh, crap, it is Friday. Shit, throwing stuff around. Oh, no, I've got to be at the place. Oh, oh geez. One of the Severe brothers will be playing with Moana Pacifica. Yeah, that's Julian. Now, Patrick. <clears throat> it's Thursday for you guys in the north, yes. It is a Didi. It's Friday for us here on the, the greater side. You have a dentist appointment on Monday. Well, just don't go on Sunday, uh, Fallon, because they might not be open. <laughs> a dentist appointment. Well, there goes your wallet, dude. Ouch. You, you won't have any money left. You won't be able to eat for the rest of the week. Dentists will just go, and all your money's gone. Absolute gone. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Eddie Jones is a massive felon. <laughs> we were talking about Eddie Jones before. Must be literally just for you coming, Jack. Oh, about what a clown he is. Do you reckon he's actually gone? Like, Japan has confirmed it, right? Japan media have said, yeah, he's, he's signed. It's done. So he's, he's gone, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. What an absolute tosser. It's funny, though. It is quite funny. Now who do the Wallabies get? Who's the East next Wallabies coach? Steve Hansen? <laughs> or, um... Oh, what's his name? Feel bad for the players? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That, uh, yeah. You do feel bad for the players. It is funny, though, but, yeah, yeah. I've seen, um... The captain... Steve Nick's coach. Um come out and made a, made this big video speech about how much they, they they apologize to the Australian public and blah 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 which is which is mad which is absolutely crazy they got to do that what happened Fallon oh Eddie Jones's Jap Japanese media has confirmed that Eddie Jones is the next Japanese coach but nothing's been confirmed at the other end so Japanese media have said that he's it's done, it's it's sealed, it's signed. Which is which is mad. Premiership rugby is back in England tomorrow without without three clubs. Less and less clubs, right? Means more rest periods. Reese and Fortalia, that's not a bad shout. Probably should go all right against Argentina, I think. I think Wales will go will go fairly comfortably. We'll have a look at your team, Arch. And see what you've got. We'll see what everyone thinks. Do, 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 do. Right, here's Arch's team. What one? The first one or the second one? <laughs> second one. Here we go. This is Arch's team. What does he need to change? The new one? Sweet. Front row's all good. I think you're safe. Mel Barker will play. He's been the, the, one of the form hookers. You're good in the second row. Your back row's good. Olive On will play. Unless he's injured. But Olive On and Audra will both play. You should be safe there. Um, well, you, you did well with Lester. You predicted the future on that one, dude. What's up, Supercard? How you doing, man? Because um, I, I said, I mean, we say on Discord, I was like, I don't think Lester will play. But then I didn't know. Um... I didn't know that's obviously all the crap that's happened with Talia. So, fair play. Good call. Uh, Arky's safe. Uh, you've got... Rajraja will, will certainly play, right? I mean, that'll be crazy to leave him out. Uh, and your two French wingers? I would... Yeah, I can't can't see any troubles with that. 
I don't think France will change too much. Pinot certainly will play 100%. On the other wing, I don't, I don't know. Oh, he's, been, he's been playing all the last few games, so I think you're pretty safe. I don't think you need to make any changes here, dude. I think you're pretty good. All right, Supercard, so dumb, right? Why would they leave Roy Guard out? Damn bigger. Uh, oh, Roy, Reinhardt, though. That might be the one you might might have to change, um, Arch. Maybe. Just because I don't know who South Africa's going to pick at nine. I would expect they'll pick Faf. But, yeah, I don't know. It's South Africa, man. I'd expect they'll pick Faf and off the bench. I mean, they've still got, they've still got four nines. So, who goes on the bench? The Grant Williams? The uh, Reinhardt? Um... Or who? I don't know. I don't know. So, that would be the only one that maybe, maybe you might have to change. <laughs> so you have time to change? We will check again on Friday. Yeah, check again on Friday, man. Um, they, they should be naming their team in the next, like, 12 hours, really. I suppose the games don't start till Sunday morning, my time. So it might be... They might, because their Monday game, they might not name their team till tomorrow morning, sort of thing. Like 24 hours from now. So, check it tomorrow, yeah. You should be right. But I think that would be the only one you'll probably have any trouble with, will be Reinhardt. But who starts at 9 for South Africa? I have no idea. Who starts at 10 for South Africa? I have no idea. It's just a 50-50, dude. But yeah, check out, check out, um, yeah, your games are on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, for me, it's Sunday, Monday. So he, he plays on Sunday for you or Monday for me. So that you've got till then to pick it out or change it. But I, that's a good that's a good team, dude. I have no troubles with that. No, aside from Reinhardt, you should be completely all safe. Mavaka will play. Olivon will play. Your wingers should play. Radraja will play. Yeah, maybe, maybe not Reinhardt, though. That's all. You need the points. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Me too. Hopefully Christy gets injured. Not a serious one, though. Just bad enough where he can't play the rest of the tournament. <laughs> I wish he got I wish he got um injured ages ago. Supercard, you're not happy about Roy Guard? Nah, neither. Foster's a knob. Oh, uh, crazy. Predictions for the quarters? Uh we'll have a look at them in a second, Supercard. Um I want to check up my try scores to make sure they're actually playing. Uh, which is something I typically suck at doing. Um see your team, Jack. Okay, we'll have a look at Jack's team. Uh I did see. Yeah, I did see your team. We'll have a look at it. We'll chuck it in here anyway. You refuse to pick any English. <laughs> I don't mind the English back row. That's why I've got two English back rows. Right. Here is here is Jacko's team. We'll have to... Oh. I'll have to move this down a bit so you can see. There we go. Right. Front row. Francis, George, and Gallo. None of them picked yet. Surely Francis will be right. This is probably before Wales picked the 10 year because Jack Morgan's not there. Sexton's captain as well. Oh, Talia. Okay, so you've swapped swap Talia for Reese Zammett. Tui Sober. You've kept the faith in Tui Sober. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, will Jordan is at fullback. You can't see that on the, the screen there. Uh, but Tui Sober, Aki, Pinot, Sexton, Kuravoli. We've gone similar. We've gone similar. Oh, except for Reese Zammett. My, you've gone with Will... Now, now, Jack, you've gone back on yourself with Will Jordan here, right? <laughs> I bet you hate a Will Jordan. What's up with that? You've gone with him now. Jack's got three Englishmen. Arch. Jack's got three Englishmen. <laughs> he's got George. He's got Laws and Earl. Wow. Is that the defensive... Is that the tackler booster? <laughs> Uh, of course he's going to do well because he's an amazing player. <laughs> Arch doesn't like all your English selections. <laughs> Morgan's a good one. Burn. you got you got to have that cheap Fijian in there, right? you got to have that cheap Fijian. Yeah, I like that. Like I said, the English back row's been pretty good. I can't argue with that. I just hope Kuravoli plays. That might be one we'll have to change. Because I don't know. It's, it's weird, like, how Fiji have been changing stuff up. Um, that's boosted guy, uh, Arch. That chap in the middle. 
Earl, Ben Earl, he's boosted. He's got the defensive booster. So that's double points for tackles. You've got Sheehan as hooker. Oh, that's not, yeah, that's not a bad shout either, Sean. That's not a bad shout because he is tops. But I've noticed, like, I've gone two players from each country and one from one. I notice, like even on Jacks here, he's got he's got two Welsh, he's got three English, he's only got one Argentinian, he's got three Irish, two Fijians, one Frenchman, only one Frenchman. That's interesting. Yeah, you know, I think this picture was taken before the teams were named Arch. So I think Francis will start. I'm pretty sure Gallo's starting. Laws and Earl, oh, they haven't been named. Sexton starting, Aki starting. Uh, he swapped, he swapped Reece Samus, so he's starting. And uh, Will Jordan starting, Aki starting. Jack Morgan is starting. So most of them are, yeah, Ty Byrne starting. So he's only really got England and Fiji to wait on. Oh, France with Pinot. So as long as you keep an eye on it, right? Just keep an eye on it. Make sure you don't lose out on those guys that change. That's the big thing. That's the big thing. I know, this is where you get points up, though, Arch, you know? You go something slightly different. Fiji to keep it in the forwards as well. You reckon? I reckon that's against Fiji style. They need to go off the backs. Oh, you got three Fijians. I take it back. I don't see Tui Sober. Three Fijians. Three Fijians, three Englishmen, and three Irishmen. Okay. Right. Yeah, no crew of Ollie will mess up the team. You're right. Because what's he worth? He's only worth five and a half. So I've got a free... I've got a point left over at the top. So I have the options. If all else fails... If all else fails... I could look at a... What, he's five and a half? I could look at a six and a half replacement. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There's not many options there. <laughs> You have to go Lamani? Yeah. I want to make sure you keep the team up to date. That's the best idea. That's you've you've gotta like just Yeah, you gotta keep checking it, man. I feel bad having points left over, but I I don't know. Gareth Davis is starting, he's six and a half. I could go off Gareth Davis. I'll, then I mess up my, my flow. I'd have to go three Welshmen. Kubali is starting. Now, I found that weird too. The Argentinian side. Starting Thomas Kubali. I don't know what's happened to Brochino. He's, he's, he's out. He's out, out. He must be injured. Brochino must be injured. Which is which is mad. He's been there nine all World Cup. Kubali come in. Bezan Velez is off the bench now. Battle. I think they might... Uh, I think that makes him a slightly better team. I think Cabelli is a more established nine, but there's an option. We can bring in Cabelli. Uh, we can bring in Gareth Davis. We probably can't. Yeah. Lamani is the same price, but I've got an extra point, so I'd probably go. Yeah, we'll find those other guys. Yeah, I think I stole your idea, Sean. I think it was you that put it on Discord or in chat the other day, uh, saying that you got two from most of the countries besides South Africa. I've gone two from... I've done the same, actually. I find South Africa very hard to pick from. They have very few performers. Like, no one that is an out-and-out big point scorer. So that's why I've gone with Bongi, hoping that they'll play that very forward-dominate mall game, score a couple of tries from the mall. Bongi comes away with 50 points. I'm a happy man. And uh, that's my hope. And then I hope France, on the other hand, they go expansive, right? <laughs> they go to Pinot, they go to Ramos, and they score outside back tries. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Now, I've got backups. I think I'll go... I don't know if I'll go with Davis or Cabelli. I'll grab one of those two. Who's been better? Gareth Davis, I thought, has been quite good. No, minus one versus... <laughs> what happened against Georgia? Mr. Tackle made an error and got minutes played. Good God, maybe I won't go with him. He played really well in the opening few games. Really well against Australia. Wow. 
Cabelli's not hardly played. Yeah, off the bench against Samoa, um, and then he played against Chile. Um, your 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 halfback arch, um, Reinach, the South African guy. If he starts, that, that's the only questionable starter for me, barring any late injuries and stuff like that. You're the same situation as me, dude, with Kuravoli. I don't know if Kuravoli's going to start. So we're in the same sort of boat. We just have to wait for uh, South Africa to name their team. And Fiji, for that matter. I wonder when they're going to. I wonder when they will. See, they just had a, they had a press conference five minutes ago. South Africa. That's crazy. So I had to name their team a few hours ago. I can only imagine... I can only imagine that uh, it's an injury to to poor Bertino. See, Kramer's playing in the back row. That's what I like. I like my lock playing in the back row. It's hard to know who's going to play. Yeah, it, it is. Especially when you get late injuries... Um, thanks, Gareth Anscombe. Stuff like that. Best thing is to watch the game and just check it just before the game starts. And make sure. I don't see anything from South Africa yet, but they just had a press conference five minutes ago. And no team. That's what they're saying. They just had a press conference and not announced their team. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Yours on Discord, Sean? All right. I'll have a look, dude. All right. Let's have a look. We'll start with your... Uh, start with your forwards. Right. Here's Sean's forwards. Oh, I like it. Look how big that is. Brilliant. I love it. We can all see it. Whoa. Nice. All right, <clears throat> get some coffee. Ah, yeah, but that's very un-South African-like, Arch. Honestly, because South Africa is normally like, <clears throat> like all through this year, they've announced their team on Mondays or Tuesdays for the upcoming weekend, and they're normally like, we don't give a toss who you pick because this is our team. If you think you can beat it, good luck to you. But we're not changing what we or how we play for your crappy team. We're going like this. And that's it. They, they just, that's it. Whereas to this week, it's really weird that they're going, oh, no, we're not showing you our team. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Put you in the mood for a cover. I have to wake myself up. I have to wake up my voice, dude. Early in the morning, when I just got my voice is a bit, you kind of can tell it's a little bit, a bit scratchy. We have to, we have to break it in. Uh, for a Friday. Woo! How did court go? Uh, shit. No. The, the first day was a write-off. Uh, so we all went in the arch on the first day. And they said, um, we sat there for about two and a half hours. And then they went, oh, we don't need you today. It's a false start. Something's gone wrong. You can go home. Uh, but come back tomorrow. So we had to go back on Tuesday. Um, where they did all the selections. I didn't get picked for that. So... I got to go home, and then that case has been going all week. So I have been unrequired, which has been great stuff. Like, woo! That's what we can do a stream on Wednesday. Uh, and that's why we can do a stream today, because if I got picked, I would have still been there, putting some poor sap in jail. Jeez. Crazy. So it went all right. Could have been worse, right? I could have got picked. That would have been a disaster. Exactly. We, we do what we're supposed to do. Although, it still pisses me off, though, Miss that Fiji... Portugal game. I watched it later, but it would have been such a cool stream that we all wait, we waited all World Cup to stream that big upset. And then the stupid ass court system had to ruin it for me. And of course, I would have stayed up till 4 a.m. to watch it then, but no, it had to be the 8 a.m. game, literally when I had to be at court at 8 30, 9 o'clock, and missed the whole damn thing. That would have been an amazing stream. I know. You should sue them. Your loss of income. 
No, oh, well, I think the quarterfinals would be good. <clears throat> Sweet Fimby, we'll check out yours next. Check out everyone's um, fantasy team for the weekend. Yeah, loss of income, uh, loss of uh, potential business development. <laughs> I don't know, what else can you sue them for? If it was in America, you could have. Uh, dear. Oh, well, sucks as it is, whatever. It is what it is, eh? We'll, we'll just make up for it in the quarterfinals. And the semi-finals. And the final. Oh, they're going to be the biggest games. Right. Sean, this is your team, right, man? Taking a long shot with DuPont. Even if he doesn't last long. As long as he gets some points. Oh, and my team. Rusty said, has said it's tactical and they're waiting on the French. They've never done that all year. They've not waited on Australia. They've not waited on Argentina. They've not waited on the All Blacks. They've not waited on Ireland. They've not waited on Scotland. And now they're waiting on France? Do you reckon they're just waiting on DuPont? Whether Dupont starts or comes off the bench, I reckon, I reckon they want to match it. I reckon they want to put someone against Dupont. I reckon they've got a plan. Whether it's Faf or whether it's someone else, but I reckon that that's the one. If Dupont starts, then they'll start that counter player, Faf the Clark. If he doesn't start off the bench, I reckon that's when they'll swap them, and they'll move Faf or whoever it is to the bench instead. And you watch those two change at exactly the same time. Must have to be something like that, right? Who else is 50-50 for France? No one. The rest of their team's pretty much locked in. You know what? Your back three, like um, like Archer's team, that, that's going to be your back three of Ramos and Pinot and, and Bally Bai. And then your midfield is going to be Dancy and uh, Fiku. It's, it's going to be someone. That's the someone with Jaminia. That's the big one. That's the, that's the massive one. The back row will be the same. It'll be Olivier and Aldrit. It's all going. It's all predictable. So I can't see anything else aside from their nine selection. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? That's that's my two cents. What's going on, Valer? Yeah, I don't know. He 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 started the first couple, didn't he, Jack? And then he just he got ousted um, by double B's. Oh, what's his name? Belly. I forgot. No, I just said it two seconds ago. And I've forgotten already. He got ousted by him, and he's kind of been off the off the cuff. Maybe you'll be. Maybe he's injured. I don't think he's injured though. He's not on the injured list here, is he? We'll get back to that, Sean. Hang on. Outside backs. No, nah, he's not listed. But look at that. Look at the difference. Yeah, Belly Buddy. I love that name. I, I'll probably make a hash of it. Bali, Bali, Bari. It's such a cool name. But like, he went really good against Namibia. And he went good against Italy too. Really, really strong. So maybe Valier's coming as the starting right winger. And Mr. Bali, Bari is taking over. He's a class guy. I think he's quite good. I think he's probably your best. The bookies are all uh, here for all Ireland to win the World Cup. He did play all the easy games, Jack. Yeah. He did. But he, like I say, he's played... Every game since that All Blacks game. So maybe he was the starter. But for some reason, he missed that opening game. Not fit. A niggle injury. Maybe. And then he'd come back and he's played all the games since. France haven't rested much. A bit like Ireland. They've not rotated too much. DuPont, case in point, right? Well, I know. We'll see. We'll see when they name their team. I can understand why Ireland are favourites, Arch. Makes makes sense, man. Does make sense. All right, Sean, your team. Sorry, Francis Sheehan. Good start. Two starting props and a hooker, I mean. Uh, and Maui for the Fiji. And I think a lot of people are going for Fiji and prop. And a Welsh prop as well. Trying to get the selection quotas in there for cheap players. Uh, Guido Petty, nice. And Oli Chisholm for England. There you go, Arch. He's got two Englishmen in his pack. He's got Ben Earl at the back row as well. Ali Salvia. See, I didn't pick Artie. I probably should have picked Artie. Jack Morgan. I've gone Jack Morgan, Ben Earl, and, and uh, Laws. Oh, not Ben Earl. Yeah, I did go Ben Earl. I wouldn't mind Artie instead of Earl, but then I'd have to make. I'd have to swap around my whole back row. So it depends who England's going to start. What's up, Yan? How you going, dude? That's not about. I like that team, though. I like that team, um, Sean. It's a very good team. I'm glad to see you visiting, sir. <laughs> Here is uh, here's Sean's back uh, 
Back line. That's the word I was trying to think of. There we go. So he's gone Dupont. Are you actually going to captain uh, Dupont? Um, Sean? Are you going to leave the captaincy on him? You pick your team and don't even give away your secrets. <laughs> Everyone else is giving away their secrets. I do like your team, Sean, so far, actually. Sexton we're going with as well. Buffalli on the wing. Jordy Barrett, interesting selection. Nasalevu, Adinsa, and Ramos. Okay, so we're looking at... Have you gone? You have gone. There's two. Yeah, no Frenchmen in there. You've got two Fijians. You've got two Welshmen in there. You've got the one Argentinian. No, you've got two Argentinians. You've got Buffalli as well. Uh, two All Blacks. Oh, I like it. I like it. I do like it. 500th in the world can't help TC3 catch me. <laughs> I like your team, dude. I actually like this team. I kind of want to... I kind of need to put Adi Savia in my side. I kind of forgot about him. He's an 80-minute player. And he doesn't miss anything. But I've already got two All Blacks. I could, I could get rid of Rico. But then I have to put an Englishman in? Nah. What's everyone else doing booster-wise? Yayan wants to know. Um, I've gone... Uh, we were looking at... This is... Jeez, I've got too many open now. This is Jack's team. Jack's going a booster, a defensive booster. Oh, B and Earl. Uh, we have a, a triple Pinot here on... Um, I think this is Archer's side. Yeah, this is Archer's team. We're going with the, the triple triple captain on Pinot, which isn't a bad nudge. Uh, yeah, defensive here. Yeah, Fembi's going defensive on, on Rollins. That's a nice call. Uh, we'll look your team in a sec, dude. Um, and we've got Sean. Sean's got no booster on yet, but you have to pick one. Sean, you got to pick one because you only got three and there's only three rounds left. So you got to jump on one, dude. <clears throat> uh, we'll look at, uh, we got a Fibby site. Or Sketch, as he's known in here. Right, here we go. Perfect height. Center is a sticky one, yeah. I would like to put in Adi Savier. I might, uh, I'll, yeah, I don't know. I've still got two days. Or uh, just under two days. So I'll, I'll think on that one. He's got Adi Savia too. Right. Good front row. Yeah, give away your, come on, give away your secrets to the string. Come on. Everyone needs a hand, Mr. 500th in the world. We're like 5 millionth in the world. We struggle, we struggle just to get up to our own group. We've only got 30 odd people. Here you are against the world of 100 billion people and you're still bigness. Right. Antonio, good pick. I like it. Sheehan. Oh, your front row's good. I, I do like defensive King on Rollins as well. Chisholm, he's got an Englishman. Just one Englishman, though. Van Staden, you reckon Van Staden is going to start? Fimby, I don't know. We'll see. Clearly, Savir and uh, Doris are, again, Reinhardt. It's the South Africans. They're, they're the hard ones to pick. I d they d just... They're unpredictable. That's a pretty shitty news. Glad to see streaming needed lift. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, uh, uh, commiserations, apologies. Um, hope things get better. Whatever the bad news is, man. Um, we'll try and lift the mood, dude. We'll try to be exciting and fun. We always try to be exciting and fun. But I hope things get better for you, man. I appreciate you coming by, as always. You can take them out and rotate them. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You can take out Reinhardt and is he similar points to like Faf or someone like that? But yeah, it's it's hard. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't know. Like that back row of South Africa, I just I just don't know who they're gonna play. Like and at nine, like I think I I think that delaying of their team is all around the the scrum half. I think it's all around the nine. So it's either yeah, it's all around Dupont. Lost your best friend. A stupid heart thing in the way. Co-owned it, so nothing but a fantasy chat can't fix right now. Oh, sorry, man. We're all... I hope you're feeling better. I hope things get better, dude. Sorry about losing you, mate. It sucks, right? It really sucks. We'll try... We'll try to help things out for you, dude. If we can help you in any way, do let us know.
the coffee's a good start. But yes, yeah, so we can we can chat fantasy to, to fix it, right? It's not. <laughs> uh, I hope things get better for you, dude. It sucks. Life sucks, man. Life sucks big time, dude. Arch has gone, <laughs> Arch has gone to get a cuppa. He's he's given up. Arch has given up. Mine's mine's still warm. Ah, right. What else he got? Richie Moanga. Now I'm surprised no more people have gone with Richie Moanga at ten. It's easy to go with like Sexton or, or bigger. Screw England, um, but. It's easy to go with those guys, but I think Richie is a bit of a, a dark horse for points. So I quite like that. I quite like that selection. I quite like that selection. I think he's going to get you quite a bit. What's up, Pen Pen? No, we were, we were talking about Talia. Um, before with Jack, because Jack loves Talia. You can see the chat's going to go nuts in a second. He's going to be like, ba ba ra ra ra. Stupid, stupid Talia. Apparently, I read a, I, I read a thing saying he got a little bit frisky with a, a dietitian or a, a, a fitness person or, a, you know, a backroom staff person. Um, but that could be wrong. I don't know. He, he Aaron Smithed it, let's say. He Aaron Smithed it before the quarterfinals. He just want to release that tension, man. Get himself ready. But no, now he's out of the team. Um, yes. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Coach is just jealous till he is getting some. <laughs> well, well, Foster ain't getting any, that's for sure. Not unless he gets some more of that. that that's, that's why he's picked the old hookers, because he's got old hookers on his mind. That's what it is. That's why he's gone with Taylor and um and Coles, because all he's thinking about is old hookers. That's the problem. Um, I like your pick of Moanga, though, Fimby. I like that. Reece Samet, good. Pinot, Buffelli, they're all going to get your points. Aki, Tui Sova. I hope I hope the Fijians show up. I really hope the Fijians show up. Who would have a cup of it? It's twenty two thirty here. What's that? Ten thirty? Jeez. Well, you just have a tea. People people still drink tea. I I I can't stand tea. I can't stand tea. I drink no tea, at all. Yuck. Coffee all the way. I'd have a coffee at twenty two thirty, but I you, you probably probably want to get some sleep, right? Um. Oh no, the games are on at a good time for you, yeah, and so you're all right. You can watch the games at like five, six o'clock at night. Ah, oh, thanks, Vimby. You're on my side. Tea's disgusting. Yeah, I agree. I remember when I was a kid, I was sick, and my mum made me tea. I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with me, but tea was supposed to help. I had this tea. It was disgusting. I've never drunk it since. Never drunk it since. Coffee all the way, and now it's empty. So I'm sad. Um, we're going to just stick by the water now. There. Oh, that's right. Yes, my tea. My <laughs> what? My tea says tea is just awful. Coffee. <laughs> I have to go to the shop later today and stock up on Red Bull. Or anything else I can find. What else? I mean, all your guys' suggestions for cool, good energy drinks, I can't buy here. Which sucks, because you guys are like, oh, get this energy drink that's really nice. I can't find it anywhere. Dub's got cool suggestions. Um, so in other words, he's had cool suggestions as well. And it's like, nah, nothing. Nothing, which sucks. Can't have too much of it or it gives you anxiety. Crazy how it affects you, right? Yeah, well, what monster though, dude? It's like a million something, but... Um, yeah, it was, it was Dub that said about the monster with the blue. I, I wouldn't even forget because I look every time I go to the shop, any shop, with a blue M. He's like, they're really good. And I've been to like six shops looking for this monster with blue M. Ah, mango is good. I like mango. Yes, I do like mango. Mango's good. Is that a monster? It is a monster, yes. Aussie lemonade. Aussie lemonade monster. Right, I'm writing this down. <laughs> Yan, he's posted it. Right, Yan's is next. Also, tea is like dog water. <laughs> I love it. We've got no tea drinkers. Great. Yes, I do like the mango. We do have the mango one here. Maybe I'll have to get a mango. I'll mix it up this week for quarterfinals. Aussie Lemonade Monster. I'm going to have a look for that one, Jack. I've, you've seen the one before, but I've not looked for that one. Aussie? I probably won't have it here because it's Aussie Lemonade. 
How qu Why can I not spell? Lemonade. Monster. Okay, okay. That's on the list. Here we go. What, what do you got here? Monster Fruit Punch. Okay. Monster Fruit. I'm writing these on my phone so I can... I, I'm going to the shop later. Because, like, literally the quarterfinals are 4 a.m. So, I'm going to need one. Purple? Purple or pink? Okay. Purple or pink monsters. This is good. The purple one. Right. Noted. Mango's go. I think I might take you up on that, Fimby. Yeah, I do like mango. Although, I'm not much of a... I'm not a huge mango... Like, I wouldn't eat mango by itself normally. Normally, a mango drink, I'd be like, yeah. But that... That monster one is good. It is really good. Your monster's the doctor. What? Monster cola is good. Yeah, see, I've never seen a monster cola. Mango, yeah, yeah, we get mango here. The white one and the yellow one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, white and yellow is good too. Okay. We've got we've got a lot of lot of ideas now. Military color. Ah, okay. Right. Monster VR64, aka the Doctor. All right. I, I I've never seen that before. We're trying to get um. What's up, Dills? We're getting energy drinks like <laughs> we get energy drink ideas. I'm going to the shop later to stock up for the weekend for the 4 a.m. starts that we've got for the quarterfinals on Sunday and Monday. Valentino Rossi monster? Was that even a thing? I've never seen that before. The yellow one's called Ripper. Okay, yellow. Yellow Ripper. Right. You guys have shitloads of monsters. We have not this many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, should I ask should I ask about that one at the um Oh that's okay I see that one. Yep, that's a VR64. I'll ask the shop person about that one, yeah, and should I? Should I go there and ask if they've got that flavour? I'll go I'll go to the checkout. I'll, I'll go on the and I'll take go over the microphone and be like you know any cock flavoured monster, cock flavoured monster, uh aisle twenty two, aisle twenty two for cock flavoured monster. I'll go there and do that. Has a salty tang? Tang tang. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ay, ay, ay. I've got a list of like six different, or well, eight different drinks now. Right. Now, I'll, I'll let you know. What are you on about? Flavoured energy drinks? Well, they're all flavoured. A little bit of milk consistency. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and oh, you always spark up the chat, my friend. You always do. Love it. I'll be sure. I'll be sure to get one of those. I could, I could, a cornflake flavored? I don't know how, what, I don't know how that would taste. I'll probably have that milk consistency too. <laughs> oh, jeez. A bit of milky, milky energy. Probably is energy energy milk, I'd say. I've never looked. Don't think that really... I'm not a big milk drinker, to be honest. Um, completely off topic. All right. <clears throat> I've got a lot of ideas. Flake flavoured, as he always knows, with the liners. <laughs> oh, that one will be in the R18 section, along with the, the cock flavoured energy drinks as well. <laughs> Oh goodness gracious me! Right, where were we? Energy drinks gone off the off the charts. Monster Energy Spunk flavor. <laughs> oh, someone did attempt to make fizzy milk once. Really, Tills? Really fizzy milk? How would that ever work? How would that ever work? Yes, we're looking at your team, Yan. Right, we've looked at um Sean. I like Sean's team. It's very good. I want to steal some ideas off that. <laughs> Spunk all over that. 
Right. Oh, we've got my T's team as well. Right, we've got two to look at. Here we go. Here's Mr. 500 in the world. Oh, look at that. It nicely fits perfectly as well. Right. Mr. 500. Where's your booster going, Mr. 500? Or is that undisclosed information? Tuggy Gallo at the front row with Malvarkit, Burn and Rollins. Right, Olivon, Morgan and Earl. Dupont, Farrell. Ooh, Farrell. Okay. Right, Barrett, Ringrose, Pinot, Jordan, and Reese Zamet. Right. Let's pull this apart. Dupont, really? Dupont? Ah, oh, that's a bit of a risk. Dupont's the risk. I don't think you'll get a huge amount of minutes. I kind of agree that he might come off the bench. Since seeing Artie Savia and Sean's team, I'm kind of like, I kind of want to put Artie Savia in my team as well. You've gone... Dupont, Dupi is potentially coming out. See, I kind of like Sean's team. He's got, I like this. I like this. I like. Actually, I like this. The halves in the back row. Obviously, the South Africans are question marks, but I like the, the Savia, Doris, Mawanga. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Everyone's going Will Rollins as well. Oh, here we go. If so, Sexton comes in, Fijian scrum half comes in, Ioani comes in, and Savia comes in. Wow. Wow, that's some big changes, dude. It's all sitting on... What if he plays on the bench? Would you keep him or would you ditch him? Because if he starts, is he going to play more than 40 minutes? I guess it depends on the match. If it's close or if they're losing, he probably stays on, right? But if they're winning by a lot, which is unlikely, right? He probably goes off very, very early. Hmm. Good team, though. Barrett. Everyone's going on Will Jordan. A lot of people jumping on Reese Zammett as well. Hmm. No, he's getting ditched. <laughs> I'll send you what it looks like otherwise. Right. We'll have a look at... um. I like... I like yeah, it's very similar to everyone else's though. Oh, the, the Farrell thing's not. But everyone's jumping on Rollins, Byrne, Morgan, Earl... Uh, everyone's got Pinot, Reese Emmett, and Jordan. Midfields are typically different. Okay. Try Sneak. Okay, hang on. Sneak. I've not seen anything like that. Iron Brew. Isn't Iron Brew like an alcoholic drink? Over your ways? It's good, um... Good suggestions. It's not. Okay. <laughs> I've heard of Iron Brew before. It's a Scottish drink. Is it? Is it just a? Is it just a typical drink? Right. We've got to look this up. Ah, I've seen that before. Scottish carbonated soft drink. What's up, Hector? It makes you ginger. <laughs> uh, all right. Yans fixed fix his team. I highly doubt we'd have that here, dude. Honestly, Arch. Oh, I'll, I'll certainly look. But, jeez. Oh, look. It's on Mighty Ape. That's like a... Mighty Ape is a, um online shop here. Ooh, I could buy a box of 12. 50 bucks. Jesus. Oh, well, well, well. Look at that. What else have they got? It does make you ginger. <laughs> Finley Christie's been having a lot of them. That's so true, Hector. Oh, look. These guys have got different drinks. This is pretty much a New Zealand supermarket. Here you go. Sneak is a great energy drink. <laughs> you took it to Haggis. <laughs> oh, funny stuff. This is pretty much a typical 
New Zealand supermarket. You got Mama. I don't know what this North stuff is. So you got normal monster. You got that pinky one. You got the blue one. The green one. Oh, is he? Oh, I've not seen that before. There's a doctor. Oh, there's a doctor. There's a powder you add water to it. Healthy energy drink. Sneak is great reviews. Ah, oh, okay. I've never seen that in the shop. No, no, it looks like though. These guys got way more. These guys got way more. This isn't a typical supermarket. There's not this many at a supermarket down here. You put all the official changes in now. Wow, okay. We'll have a look. Look at that. I don't even know what that crap is. Black Akai. Crazy. Not showing the booster though. See, there's the mango. That's that's nice shit, that one. Oh, I used to be, Dill. Uh, not anymore. I, I don't, I hardly use it, honestly. But yes, I, um, man, I used Mighty Ape, uh, when it was Game Planet, dude. That's how old I am. I used to buy all my games off Game Planet. And then they changed to Mighty Ape. I still use them for years, but now digital games, eh, I don't, don't buy much else, really, from them. The Relentless, that looks cool. Oh, man, they got way more than a supermarket. There's a black one. Oh, man. I should buy stuff off here. All right, let's go to... um. Bang. Here we go. Was that Yan's one? It was. It was indeed. Right. Use your account, then they can send you the drink same day. They don't send same day down here, dude. <laughs> Relentless is not cool. Do not drink it under any circumstances. Why not? Hector only drinks ginger beer and apple juice. Apple juice is good. I can't complain about apple juice. Do they do same day to Christchurch still? I thought they were based in Auckland. Yeah, they don't do same day down here. Nah. I can guarantee you. I thought they only did same day for um same day for Christchurch. Ah, oh, sorry, for Auckland. What? They do same day to Invercargill. I highly doubt it. Nothing gets here the same day. Nothing at all. Unless you want to taste something that closely resembles dog water. Okay. That's what you have. <laughs> okay. Noted. Relentless is crap. Don't show your team on an advert. <laughs> I didn't even know I was doing adverts. So we've not updated points on League. Yane's back. What's up, Finn? How you going, man? Right, here we go. He's changed everything now. If we have Amazon, get Amazon Prime. You get next day delivery. To, to New Zealand, though, Arch, do you? I've, 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 looked, I've, I've looked at using um, Amazon a little bit, but it just, it's just so, it's so remotely, yeah, in New Zealand, it's so remote and off, you know, it's like weird. But Arch, no, I think some places in UK and that do get it same day delivery as well of Amazon. You've got one point left to spare with that team. You're similar to me. Right, let's have a look at your team, Jan. What have you changed? Right, you brought Rico in. Oh, you've, you've just copied me and Jack. <laughs> That's what you've done. Yeah, see, Archer's got Prime. I think it works in the UK. I think it works. I think it works in Australia as well. Still, I'm not 100 sure on that, but it definitely UK and a lot of European countries get Prime, and America obviously, uh, because they've got depots all around through there, whereas we don't have anything here. Australia have one. We don't have one. Otherwise, we could. You might go up to to Sheehan instead of Malvaka. That would give you four Irishmen. Who are you missing? You've got, you've got no South Africans. Yeah, Arch, we got nothing here, man. It sucks. It really sucks. If you want to buy stuff, dude, it sucks. Backwater, it is a backwater country. And yeah, our currency is crap too, Dill. You're right. Our currency is garbage. Like against an, an American currency, it's like 1.6 something. So you pretty much got to add half on again. 
at least half on and a bit more. It's real bad. It's real bad. Although, it's still cheaper than buying stuff locally, though. Even with the, the crazy, expensive conversion rate, deal, it's still cheaper to buy something from America. Potentially with shipping as well, it's cheaper than going to a shop and buying it here. Because I've looked at bringing in uh, boxes of NBA cards from America, and they're way cheaper. It's way cheaper to buy stuff direct off Panini or direct off card shops in the States and ship them here than it is for me to go to Christchurch or something and ship a card from Christchurch. That's crazy. Yeah, it would. Yep. 200 US dollars comes back as 300 New Zealand. Yep, it does. That's, yeah. It's good going that way, um, but it's bad when you go the other way. Especially if you, like, when we went over there, you see something, you know, and you're like, oh, that's only 100 bucks. It's like, cheap. So you buy it, and then you get the bank thing, and it's like, oh, it was actually 320 um, which sucks, you know, but it's all right. I feel sorry for you. I thought New Zealand was an up and growing place. Uh, I don't know, Dills, you can answer that, but I think New Zealand has stalled over the last four to six years as a country. Probably four years. The whole COVID, is, the whole COVID thing has killed this country. Not to do with the actual, anything to do with the actual flu, but the fact that it's, it's just stalled the country. The economy has died. Absolutely. Prices have skyrocketed exponentially. Just incredibly. A good holiday destination? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, a good holiday destination. If, if you like chilling and, and doing nothing, yeah, yeah, Finn, I agree. Just into the witch killed New Zealand, yeah. And I think it's only going to probably get worse probably for the next couple of years at least um, before it, Possibly gets any better. Impossible to pick South African players. They don't get the points. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> Watch the stream back. That you missed and nearly cried at that one minute clap for Martins. <laughs> Martins was a legend. We had to have a minute silence, right? Does it have holiday holiday parks? Like big, big theme holiday places? Not really. Nah, it doesn't arch. Uh, I, I think, what, Wellington has a theme park, doesn't it, Dills? Um, if you, if you like, if you like, um, like countryside, like sightseeing, like, um, parks, national parks and, and stuff like that, um, then yeah, it's great. If you love climbing mountains, it's great. If you love just chilling out on beachfront cities, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of um, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Tills is on a rampage today. What's wrong with Rainbow's Inn? I've never been there. Best bungee sites? Yeah. Uh, like Finn says, it's got a lot of like extreme... Well, not extreme, but like, it's got bungees. It's got whitewater rafting. and You've got like the jet boats. You've got all that sort of stuff. Um, but it's a budget theme park. I've never been, yeah, so I'll take your word for it. But that's about it. That's it, though. Like, that's it. That's our budget theme park. That's it, man. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else at all. That's all you got. So you are backwatered, but I think that's why New Zealanders have long, healthy lives. Do we, though? Do we have long, healthy lives? I certainly won't be having a long, healthy life. <laughs> Best squash player in the world? Yeah, we got a lot of sports. Yeah, we do well for sports, right? Because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> this place is pretty, pretty bad. Well, you know how you've got like um, small towns, right? And how everything kind of revolves around certain people and, and everything goes around the same sort of people. Um, <clears throat> that's like the whole country. That's the whole country. You have great theme parks in New Zealand, like Epstein's Island. Heard that's good. What? Said places like New Zealand's life expectancy is 86 to 100. I'm trying to think of anyone I know that's lived to, to the 80s. My grandparents all died when they were 60 and 70. Um... 
My wife's grandparents died a lot, a lot earlier. Oh, no, I know Epstein's Island. I, I, I think it's what that got to do with New Zealand, though. <laughs> Is there a family in your town that everyone knows or is scared of? It's not that small. I, I know of it, Yan. I know of it. I don't know. What, what's it got to do with New Zealand, though? Nah, it's not that small, um, Finn. But it's not It's not big. Um, There's gangs and all that sort of crap. But each town has, has family, well, families and groups and stuff you stay away from. Yeah. A lot of that crazy crap. But yeah, it's, it's kind of like a, a small town and, um, yeah. It's not a big industrial country? No, farming. The fake pussy. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's what we're all about. It's not quite that bad, Yayan. We're not all related, but some of the small cities are that bad, yeah. <laughs> oh jesus families of flakes they're taking over taking over the country new zealand and wales are similar with loads of sheep and small towns are we cows man we're all about the cow now we've got rid of all our sheep we're all about the cows a lot of people migrate here to new zealand from there to new zealand really I don't know we had that many Welsh people here. I suppose you probably can't tell the difference between them, right? Heifers everywhere. Yeah, Pim Pan, you're right. What's McDonald's like? <laughs> McDonald's is the same as everywhere else, right? Now we're all about the cows, man. We got rid of the sheep. We used to be, yeah. We used to be like whales. Uh, yeah, massively. Australia used to make, yeah, that was a, that was a joke. So all the joke that English people make about Welsh is what New Zealand used to be like. Not now, though. Now we're all about the cows, so you have to think of other jokes if you want to go down that way. Hey, hey. What's, what, McDonald's, oh, you know what? When I went to McDonald's in America, it's pretty much exactly the same. It's still shit. <laughs> Billy Connolly loves New Zealand. Here, he comes here all the time. Let's do a location swap. Can make it into a YouTube series. What, you want to come to New Zealand, Bears? Really? Ugh. It's all right for a holiday. I don't know if I'd want to move here now. Before, if you asked 10 years ago or more, it'd be like, yeah, it's great. But um, not now. Country's full of hobbits and orcs, though. <laughs> yeah, you can't go too far out in the country. But an orc army would just wipe you out, man. Not just wipe you out. They'll slash your car up. It's a costly place to live. It is, yeah, Arch, it is now, man. Yep. Down here where I am used to be, because we're right at the bottom, everyone thinks it's a shithole, and they're not wrong. It's, it's really cheap. Like, house prices here are still half, if not more, the cost of, like, Auckland. Um, they're way cheaper than all your other big locations, like Christchurch, where Dills is, um, like Wellington, all those North Island places. It's way cheaper to buy a house here, but it's still really hard to buy a house here because they just sell instantly and interest rates are incredibly high food prices are insane wife swap and life swap <laughs> what with beers I go live in england jeez i could i could live in england uh my my mother my grandmother yeah my grandmother is english could that get me a english passport surely right i mean every, everyone in uh, rugby can do it why can't i do it <clears throat> People don't know that Lord of the Rings is a gang documentary about New Zealand. Yeah, it is. That's what it's all about. Yeah, you go into the forest, you get attacked by trees, all sorts of stuff. Little people steal your shoes. It's crazy. Insane. Yayan's going to run the streams. Sweet. That's what we like to see. I'll, I'll get myself my um my British British passport based on my uh, English grandmother. How far back can you go for passports? Can you go, can you go three generations? Surely. That's what we need to go back three generations. I can get a, I can get a European passport too. Nice. And English. I go live there forever. Right, Bears, can you get a New Zealand passport? Come to Wales. 
Yeah, let's go to Wales. Where are we going to live in Wales? <laughs> Glasgow steals people's shoes and if you drive into Glasgow by the time you leave your cars in flames. <laughs> Jeez. I want to go to the UK. We're looking to go to the UK soon. I'll show you how to shake shit properly. <laughs> but Velcro gloves. That's the job. Get it done properly. Do I want to come there? Why not? Why wouldn't I want to go there? <laughs> Think your great, great, great granddad was built by Baggins. So that's, yeah, gee, you'll be royalty then. You'll be royalty. You'll be straight straight into the castle, dude. Straight, you'll be straight into government. You'll be, you'll be the next Prime Minister of New Zealand just because of that. <laughs> Don't go to Aberdeen. You'll be the next thing the sheep shakers be fucking... <laughs> oh, jeez. I wouldn't mind going to England. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind doing a tour just around the UK, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, do the whole, whole works. you got to see these things, man. It's like you... You say, why do you want to go there? But I say, why would you want to come here? This place is pretty dull. Pretty dull. Oh, LMP! <laughs> I never thought about it. you wouldn't have LMP. LMP is a New Zealand drink. Uh, it tastes like crap. It's like a lemony... It's like a lemony lemonade. Pretty much. Don't get the gourmet creations in the UK. Fair enough. I mean, the basics are still the same, right, though? Like your um, Big Macs and your chickens and all that sort of garbage. Not that I really go there that often, honestly, to really know what different stuff comes. Stuff comes and goes all the time there at McDonald's. But yeah, l &P is something you won't know about. I don't like l &P, but it's like a very lemony lemonade. I can't think of another way to, to, to describe it, really. Yep, I, I could go to that place, yeah. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother. I've seen the signpost of that place. I mean it's 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 almost as bad as the signpost of some places here. Don't come to this bit. Whereabouts are you, mighty? Just fields and fields and fields. If you wanted a good place with amazing scenery, come to Scotland and Venice. It's lovely. Burgers, fries, and discontinued the breakfast bagel. Yeah, burgers and fries, that's about it. That's all they do. I found, I found it tasted um it tasted fairly similar. I see the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> it tasted pretty similar. Um in America anyway. Except for the Coke. The Coke in America is disgusting. Sorry, Americans. <laughs> you can come and do haggis hunting. <laughs> oh jeez. Southwest. Oh, okay, so it's down the bottom corner, bottom right hand corner. Oh, the bottom left hand corner, sorry. American chocolate is the worst? Yeah, the chocolate, yeah, I agree. Their chocolate's a bit average. Americans think we have haggis hunting season. <laughs> Americans will believe anything you tell them, though, really. I think you should set up a premiership rugby fantasy team, Bears, and join your league. Are we going to take over Bears' um, fantasy team? Fa uh, premiership fantasy. Let's start this weekend. Went to Edinburgh recently and it was full of people handing out flyers. What's wrong with handing out flyers? What's fringe? <laughs> yeah, and Sorry if you win it. That's all right, dude. You'll probably... You're, well, it's not even close. Tomorrow night. Oh, no. Edinburgh's a lovely place to be. Edinburgh. I'd like to go to Edinburgh. I have a lot of... Um, my my mother's family side is from Scotland. I don't actually know where in Scotland that they're from. I have to... Um, I might have to look into that. I know my dad's side of my mother is on... 
It's from England from... Uh, I've forgotten. I've forgotten. I've forgotten. I've actually forgotten. Edinburgh Castle is lovely. It's a comedy festival for the months of amateur comedians trying to get big. That'll be cool. That'll be real cool, Finn. I'll be up for that. Oh, where is she from? I'm trying to think of where she's from. Norwich. She's from Norwich. Edinburgh Castle is built on a volcano. If it erupts, we're fucked. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, we can start. Um, we can start a league. Also down for the NBA fantasy. Yes, we're going to work on that. Uh, Dub did chuck a thing in, um, in Discord about that. He's about doing a fantasy NBA league, do a draft on a live stream. Does she have six fingers on both hands? Well, no, she's dead, man. <laughs> but no, she didn't. She only lived there till she was very young. Uh, she was around 10. If, if that. It's not being incestuous in the UK. Okay. Didn't know that. But she lived here most of her life. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the volcano doesn't erupt. Just like me after a night on the hub. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ay, ay, ay. Right. So we got to make a team, Bears, now. We've got to make a team right now. Oh, good God. Because it, it starts tomorrow night, right. Um, we're looking at Yan's team. Man, we got off we got we got so off topic there. I I think this is a better team. I like Artie Savier. I think I need to get Artie Savier onto my team. Some people just don't take what it takes to live here. <laughs> <Pen. laughs> oh goodness gracious. Oh, that's crazy stuff. I like your team, yeah, and we'll be chasing you hard. But we've got a lot of similar players. I have to get um, I have to get into uh, Adi Savia somehow. Important rugby <laughs> question. Oh, midgets with snorkels. <laughs> We'll pick the Bristol backline if they could do something with them. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, we've had fun though. Can't have a night talking about rugby without a great laugh. So true, Arch. So true, hey. Go crazy, man. Oh, I'll read it and laugh all night long. All day long. All morning long. It's still morning. It's still morning. Off track's funny. I like going off track. Makes for a funny stream. Oh, where are we going to do this Premiership Fantasy stuff? I think it's on um, Super Brew. Yeah, and we'll do that now, eh? You're not wrong, Arch. You are not wrong, dude. You are not wrong. It is a... It is a massive, massively, massively depressing place. Alice Skins knows exactly where the line is. <laughs> Thoughts on Talia? Finn, uh, he had fun, man. He's probably saying it's worth it, right? He's probably like, yeah, I got my rocks off. I'm good to go. And then they're like, nah, mate, you're not allowed. I think I think they'll try and expose Talia a bit um, defensively, I reckon. I reckon they will. What am I? So I'm on the World Cup predictor here, so I need to go to what? Tournaments? Uh, rugby? Some, so fantasy premiership rugby. That's what we want him to do, right? <clears throat> Mr. Curfew, I heard. Ah, I heard he was getting it off with a dietitian or a fitness person or something. Ah, uh, who's my... Hmm. What team do I support? First time ever in history we can have an argument about an all-black team being better by leaving out the captain. I mean, that argument's been going on for ages, right? Pen pen. Yeah, Talia's out. 
You're neutral. Your favourite teams are gone. Yeah, that's a bit of a sad thing about it. As long as, long as we don't pick Bristol, right? Ugh. Anyone but them. What about good old Bath? Oh, I might just go neutral. I don't have any affiliations. What if happened to Bridge? You mean like George Bridge? He went, uh, did he go overseas to Japan? Or did he go, I think he went to Japan. If you put Bath, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, jeez. The lad of this app is playing my autism and I don't even have autism. <laughs> oh, crazy. Oh, he's at Montpellier. There you go. Yes, he left last after last season, I think. Oh, hang on. Almost missed miss Arch there. Jeez, Arch, you're flicking up the, the chat pretty quick. What do you think is going to be the game that's going to have the biggest draw to it over the weekend? Uh, locally, it'll be France, South Africa. I, I still think... I think it'll be the All Blacks in Ireland. I think internationally, that'll be the biggest game. Or, or France, South Africa. But I, I think the All Blacks in Ireland, it's just so much history. So much history, so much rivalry, so much everything, like, between the two sides, right? I think it's, it's going to have a huge draw. I think we're going to have lots of friends on Sunday morning joining us, for sure. The Discord chat might be full. <laughs> I think we have, yeah, I think we have a lot of new friends in on in this weekend, right? Go neutral. What is this? What is this? I don't want to hear news about tickets. Get out of here, right? Right. You, you you've got to help. Oh, good God. What's this? Okay. Don't care. I know how to play. Just I have to chase these little boxes around, right? Ireland bot bottling it in the quarterfinals again. Inject it. I hope so. I hope so. In my veins. Look at this monstrosity. What What monstrosity? What is this? <laughs> Why is yours different to mine? What? It's not that bad. Oh, look. Karenis. Oh, he's on international duty. Yeah, it could be better, right? It could be nicer. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, I don't like it. It's upside down. I don't like it. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, I hate having the for the forwards at the bottom. It's a possibility, but you hope it doesn't happen. It is a possibility. I mean, any of those four teams, the South Africa, France, New Zealand, Ireland game, any of those teams could win. Any of them. Why have we got three props and two hookers and three locks and four back row and three centers and two, two tens? Yeah, I hate the upside down thing. Can I, oh, can I look at it the other way? Can I go, oh, can I swap it around? Got like 3K players. What? Oh man, how much money have I got? A hundred million. You pick a squad of 23. Ah, and a hundred points if possible. Is there a chance for Fiji to cause an upset, Arch? Yeah, man. They beat them, like, not long ago. <clears throat> like, just for the World Cup. Two round, two weeks for the World Cup. They beat them. Okay, oh, oh this, this is baffling. You pick a starting 15 each round. Oh, Dill. <laughs> Welcome back, Dill. Picking a squad of 23 of 100 points. I don't like it. Oh, come on. Toughen up, lad. Toughen up. You had a big talk. Why has he got a... Oh, he's got a wee... Oh, it's an S. I thought it was a dollar sign. Okay, right. Who are we picking? You've been lurking. <laughs> yeah, they've been... Yeah, they've been really poor. Since Australia, they've been really poor. You're working from home. Oh, nice. Are you ill? Or are you just, um... Working from home? <laughs> hey, how was the field trip on Wednesday, dude? I forgot to ask. Pick your friend, he plays for sale. Is he going to play, though? That's the question. You don't want to be at work? Fair enough. I don't want to be at work either, so I, I don't. I have no idea who to pick. Right, props. Right, let's pick some props. Are all the teams named? Probably not, right? A team limit of four. 
Body still hurts from the field trip. Where did you go? You are at work. Oh, true. I am. Technically, I am at work. You're right. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. PG's had a lot to deal with. No wonder they've been so flat. Arch, yeah. Arch. I thought it would motivate them, honestly. I thought it would, you know, make them play better, but it didn't. I mean, they were, they were really, they've been really bad against, well, Georgia and against Portugal. They were really poor. He just got picked for England again. What? Really? Why is he not playing? Because he's got picked for England. What do I mean dealing with Finn? Um, so, Tui Sova's son died. Um, then who else? Someone else died. Who was the other guy that died? Oh, I've forgotten already. Um, someone else just died the other day. Like a couple of days ago. Uh, a, a coach. Was it a coach or a former player? Not with the squad. Maravasi's dad. That's right. Yes. That's right. So the hooker and, and his brother used to play for Fiji as well. Um, how does son die? His, his son had an illness. What I read it was a long-term illness. Um, and he just passed away. And yes, and then, yeah, Maravasi's dad. The hooker. Sam Maravasi, his dad died. So that was like a couple of days ago. So, yeah, they've had a lot of crap going on, man. And And then the injuries... Uh, another player going injured as well this week. So they've got another player, different player in. A lot of changes. It's rough, man. It's been rough. He didn't tell anyone until after the Georgia game, did he? Uh, he knew before the Georgia game. I'm not sure about the rest of the team. But he knew before. about It was about two or four hours before the Georgia game. He found out about it. Thing... Is all the Fiji team are like family, so they all felt lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are. Very much family orientated, right, Arch? Uh, so much so. Massively. So, yeah, a loss for any of them it affects the whole team. But I thought it would have lifted them. I thought they would have had a bit of passion and something, but not much. The scoring system is weird. I haven't even looked at the scoring system. You get two points for a 50-22. Nice. Kind of, I guess. Why not? Here we go, fixtures. Five points for a try, is that all? Yeah. So we pick keeps the list of Tigers players, right? Because they're going to beat Bristol. <laughs> okay, i, I got to pick some players here. What do you reckon? Scott Seo. Oh, I could just pick... Oh, I could just pick Super Rugby Rejects. Yeah, I'll start a league for this, dude. You want to join it? I'll start one now. Transfer a pool. Uh, I'll transfer it from... Um, good God. Okay, if you're, if you're in the Subaru one, I'll just transfer it over. Except I'll call it... Um, Super Rugby Rejects. There we go. Um... So if you've joined the uh, predictor on here, yep, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> right, so you just go to Super Brew Arch. It's a, it's a bit it's a bit difficult. How can I invite more people? Oh, look, here we go. Just go here, dude. You've got Vayenu and, and CO in your team as well. Here, oh, jeez. There you go. Just go to that. There you go. <clears throat> Brilliant. You can go there and you can play. There is a, a code as well. D-E-E-D-M-I-N-D. -E -E -D, dead mind. Right. Uh, Bears. Is Bears still here? Bears, what's your league? How do I find it? Where's the code? Um, add a pool. Join a friend's pool. Bears is a friend, right? Oh my good God. What would it be called? Bears? <laughs> Bears. I only show pools from New Zealand. No, 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 no. Um, Bears. Bears? <laughs> oh, Bristol Bears. Oh, no, that's the fans. There he is. Look, Bears. Gamer Premiership. That's what we need to join. Well, we'll join this one as well. So if you are going to chip in, join Bears so we can kick his ass as well. 
Right. Oh, look at that. There we go. We're in. We're in. Oh, I need to rename my team. How do I rename my team? They're called the something Marines. Oh, this is nicer. Yayan, what the hell? This has got nice all of a sudden. It's got pretty. Oh. Oh, why didn't it stay like that? That was pretty. You can only make four transfers a week. What if everyone gets dropped? Oh, man. Right, I, 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 I'm going to call them the Super Rugby Rejects. So I'm going to pick Scott C.O. Three million dollars, man. What a ripoff. Who else do I know? Oh, Garcia Botia played for the, the Jaguares, right? Surely. Surely. Who else do I know? Yusufa Scott, he used to play for, um, who did he play for? Don't know, I can't remember. Someone in Australia. Levis? Oh, yes, he plays in rugby. I suppose if you've got bench players, right, you swap your bench players in and out sort of jobby. Is that, um... Oh, that's Francois Van Wyk. Who else we got? I'm trying to look for all the Super Rugby rejects. Why is there no more Super Rugby rejects? Although this guy's cheap. He certainly sounds like a Super Rugby reject for sure. We'll chuck him in. There we go. We got two props. Oh, there's a Super Rugby reject. Thomas the Toy. Bath player. Oh, yes. Got to get ourselves a bath man in. You've joined? Awesome. Join um Bears as well if you like uh, Arch. I mean, kick his ass as well. I feel like I'm spending too much money. Oh, ooh, do I want Thomas the Toy or do I want Garcia Botia? Bath. Ah, <laughs> go Bath. Yes. I like Bath even more now. Montoya is at Leicester. We'll pick him when he gets back. So Cleavy's at sale. Nice. Right, what hookers do I know? Not many. Not enough. Um, Bez, chuck your uh, link into chat, dude. Oh, you probably can't, can you? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I don't know. Just search um, Bears Gaming or Bears Gamer. Is it Gamer? Yeah, Bears. Search Bears Gamer Premiership on um, on the pool thing, Arch, and you should be able to find that there as well. My good sir. Who's this guy? Charlie Clear. Nah. He's not a Super Rugby reject. Oh, man, there's no Super Rugby reject hookers. They're all playing the World Cup. That means they're good. Oh, Sakino. Santiago Sakino. Now he was Argentinian. He played. He played for the Jaguares. Why do Exeter have six hookers? That's a bit over the top. Yeah, you know, Dan's not there. What? Who's this guy? Tom Dunn. I know that guy. Oh, Callan Dickey. Five million. Whoa, that's expensive. How much are you sp spelling out or shelling out on a player? 23 players. 100 million. You probably got about 4 million each, right? 4 million each. I've got three. Okay, I've, I'm, I'm under budget. Maybe I could go uh, Cal and Dickey. Good old sale. There we go. 5 million. Nice. And then I'll go uh, one of these cheap guys. Who was this uh, Argentinian guy I saw down here? Van Vuren. Ooh, it's a good player. No, I want the Argentinian. Where's he gone? My, my team's going to suck hard, man. Who's, um, CEO Vienu? Oh, okay, I'll get, I'll get, well, I'll get to the backs. Where's the Argentinian guy? There he is, Sakino. He's playing for Gloucester. Put him in. Yes. Right, locks. Now, this is someone said Luis. There he is. Um, no, he's not. There he is. 
Yeah, here we go. Super Rugby Reject. Yep, in you go, son. What are you worth? Three million. Not bad. Launchbury. Alimano. Oh, man. I have to swap out all of these Super Rugby Rejects when I get back. Bristol. Batley. He's, he sounds rubbish, doesn't he? He sounds garbage. Joe Batley. Trash. Launchbury. Chisholm. Not there. Hill. Johnny Hill. Johnny Hill, the angry man. Um, how do you join the league? You've got to go. And then, unfortunately, due to call with my friends family. Oh, no worries, Yan. No worries, dude. You do what you got to do, man. Um, you stay, stay happy, dude. Um, and hopefully, um, <laughs> um, hopefully things go all right for you, man. Hopefully things go all right. You're welcome back in the weekend, dude, for the, for the rugby to help you, help you power on through. Um, join the league. If you just search Bears, uh, Bears Game of Premiership, that's our uh, Bears League. And mine is just called Super Rugby Rejects. So if you search either of those two leagues, just join them up. Just go to add, add a pool, join a friend's pool, and then write in those words, and it will pop up for you. That's how I found Bears. Oh, you had an invoice? Oh, yeah, because you joined the um, predictor. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, Bears, just look up Bears Rugby Gamer Premiership, and it will pop up. That's all I did. Found it for me. Easy cheesy. Right, need some more. Um... Yeah, and you are more than welcome, my friend. Appreciate you coming by as always, dude. Yep, we'll be here for all four games, man. So any of the games are on, you want to come and chat, you are more than welcome, buddy. Have a great day, dude. Um, thoughts with you and everyone for your loss, man. Have a good one. We'll be here for you, man. We'll be here to give you shit. Don't worry about that. We'll keep it real. <laughs> oh, that's a name I know. Oh, he's away still, Samoa. Quinn Roo. Oh, another good Bath player. Jeez, Bears, there's a lot of good Bath players. Why did Exeter, again, have so many locks? This is crazy. What's up, Sledge? Happy birthday, for, what, ages ago? Well, it was a couple of weeks ago, I guess, wasn't it? Hey, you doing, know, Sledge? How's things? We're trying to, um... We're trying to make a team here, dude. If you know anything about, um... Premiership Rugby, you could help us out. would be great. A Segui, I know that name. <laughs> you gotta pick no Bristol players. <laughs> uh... If, who, what Super Rugby Rejects have they got? I'm going with names I know. That's what I'm going with. You've been good, not done too much? That's a good way to be. you got to chill out, man, and and, uh, and relax every now and then. You can't be on the go all the time, dude. I think they all left. He's ginger all over his skin. Might have put Alex Genge in there. Is he? He's not even... I, I can't. He's on international duty. Isn't he? Oh, for a hooker. He's on, uh, he's on international duty. I can't put Alex Genge in there yet. Sledge. i got to wait till he gets back. Ooh, Lester of Joe Powell and Sam, Sam Carter. Pick him. He starts for... Who are, you, who are you picking? Who's ginger all over, even his skin? Carter's not playing this weekend. Oh, boo. Oh, you're Sefer Scott. Oh, I've already done. What am I doing? I've already done props. A segue. Lua Tour. Oh, I've not got that far yet, man. I'm still at, um, I'm still at locks. Oh, look, I don't know. Actually, that's Bath. There's Bristol. See, I don't know any of your locks. No Super Rugby Rejects. James Dunn? No, he's not a Super Rugby Reject. Who's this guy? Ed Holmes? No, he's not a Super Rugby Reject. Joseph Owen? No. Georgie Taylor? Don't know him. Back row, though, you say Lua Tua. I like Lua. But Lua Tua's away on international duty. I can't pick him yet.
unless you pick him and then just right, right out the first week or two, right? Angus Scott Young. Oh, yes. Super Rugby reject. Players who are out of the World Cup will be back with their squads now. Will they be available this week, though? Lua to it. Oh, ah, he's on the bench. Bang. Right. So just because it says, we're, ah, so if they're out of the World Cup, oh, this changes everything, man. Okay, we've got to go back to the start. We've got to go back to the start. Got to go back to the hookers. Why can't we pick Piatel? He's out of the World Cup. So McFarland could start. But he's not a Super Rugby reject, though, is he? So who do we know? Super Rugby rejects here. No, no. Oh, he's gone to Japan. Oh, okay. He's not in the Premiership anymore. What a shame. Is Akavan Amurva still at sale? We've got, we got this chap, Bevan Rod. And uh, Sale's got Simon McIntyre. That looks like all the say. Oh, there's here's more sale players. No, he's not. <laughs> My T says no. I don't have any other super happy rejects. Creevy's oh Creevy. Oh, I get rid of Sakino. Yeah, I want to get Creevy. Rod all day. Oh, he's a hooker. Was I looking at props? But I could get Montoya. Oh, sorry, Sakino, you're gone. We can get Montoya or Creevy. Lister or Sayer. What do we go with Montoya or Creevy? I want... I don't care. I'll start Cal and Dickie for, for now. And then I'll bring those guys in later. What one's going to start more often versus Creevy or um, Montoya? That's the big question. I don't know that these guys are going to be straight back into the competition. Lester? Go with Montoya, you reckon? They're both 4 mil. All right, we'll go with Montoya. I don't care if he's on international duty. Any good prop uh, rod all day for Leicester? But he's not a super rugby reject, though. We've got to go super rugby reject. Oh, Calvin Dickey's not a super rugby reject, either. What about Locks? Montoya starts all the time. Nice. He's in. Super rugby rejects in the second row. We've got Levis. Scores a lot of tries on Moors. Yeah, true. He will do. Good point. Good point. Uh, what else we got? Vui. Oh, nice. I just see. Oh, he plays for Bristol, though. <laughs> yeah. Super Rugby Rejects. What else we got? McFarland. We could go with McFarland. Coleman is still in England. Coleman? Where are we looking for Coleman? He sounded like Super Rugby reject to me. Not too many second row. Launch room was so good for England back in the day. Why do Leicester have so many locks? Oh, Adam Coleman. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, good point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Who does he play for? Coleman was at London Irish, though. Oh. Oh. So he's got the chop. That sucks. I can't see any other Super Rugby rejects in here at all. Robbie Olo's a good player. I like him. Fergus Lee Warner. Who's he playing for? That Oh, there he is. At Bath. Yes. Fergus Lee Warner. You're in. Berger Ondal. In midfield? Oh, we haven't got to the midfield yet. Oh, nice, my T. I like it. Right, we've got our second row sorted. Look at that. Two Bath players. Yeah. Also got two um, Bristol players as well. Got two Leicester players. Who's? Is that Exeter? I think that is Exeter. Right, back row. Here we go. Super Rugby Rejects, Jasper Visa, we could put in. Um, see, John Luke de Pereira, he was a Super Rugby Reject. 
definitely. Six million. Wow, he's expensive. Holy hell. Everyone's jumping on Zach Marissa. Ollie Hoskins, the prop. Is he a Super Rugby reject? Who does he play for? Oh, we could get Bello. Oh, Bello would be a good call for Newcastle. Oh, there's Ollie Hoskins for Saracens. He's on a Super Rugby reject. I'm already down 69 million. Oh, no. We're in a bad way. We're in a bad way. He's worth two mil. Do we need to... We don't know. We don't need to say man. We need to get checked. He's a Saracen played. Oh, he played with Western Force? Oh, who do I chop out? Could get rid of... um. Where is he? We could get rid of Francois Van Wyk for Leicester. But he's about the only one that's actually starting. CO, Detroit. We'll sit on him. We'll sit on Ollie for now. We'll see how much money we've got left. We might have to swap out like one of the more expensive ones. Right. Who is the former Super Rugby player here? Uh, nope. No, Lua Tua. Oh, we've already got Lua Tua. <laughs> He's on the bench. That's all right. Oh, Jacques from Mullen. Yeah, oh, there we go. There's another one. No, you're all South Africans. Only two teams announced their team so far. That's all right. Angus Scott Young, we've got him. Marchant did a year. You've done your team, Arch. Oh, my good God, Arch. I've not even done my forward pack. Daniel Dupree, another South African. No one much at Bath. Marchant at start. Oh. <laughs> Pen Pan, my team's putting all your ideas in the burner, dude. His players move around. Oh, Tuisu. Oh, yes. He's not a Super Rugby reject, though. Oh, there's not too many others. Gone through them already. Might have to go to John Luke. Six million. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, Ruan Ackerman. That might be a not bad one. Where's the um, Arch has put his team up. Okay, Arch, I'm going to copy you in a minute. Might have to go with Jacques. Jacques Vermeulen. Um, and Dan Dupre. Because I think we're going to run out of money. We are going to really run out of money. Right, Dan Dupre is in. And... I could go with both the Dupriers. No, that's too commitment to sale. Where's um Where's Mother Lad gone? Well Jacques. Right, Jacques. Right, Jacques for Mulan is right. Let's have a look at the team from uh Um ba -ba -ba -ba. From Arch. Here we go. Squatch. I like how it comes up like this. It looks way nicer like this. Oh, and it fits in nicely, right. Right, C.O. Dunn Obana. Oh, two Bath players. Whoa. Chisholm. Oh, bugger, I miss Chisholm. McNally and Henderson in the second row. What's K? Is K not kicker? You're kicking a second row. Thomas. Visilau. Chisholm. I need to find Chisholm. Spencer. Atkinson. Porter. And Johnson Rensberg. We'll have to get him. Good. Rudwin. And Hassel, what's his name? Hassel, Hassel, Hassel. I forgot the second part of his name. Uh, okay, nice, right. We'll keep that in mind. Four Bath players. <laughs> How many? There's only two Bristol players. Yeah, I was going to say, why well, you got Henderson kicking? Well, he just not changed it. I don't mind. Johnson Rensburg, I'll probably go on that too. Oh, bench. Oh, you can, can you see the bench? You can just see the bench. Hang on. There you go, you can see the bench there. Uh, he's got Murley, Lazowski, Vunipula, Randall, Willis, Clark, Thacker, and Rapava, Ruskin. <laughs> My team's throwing shade at you, yeah, I reckon. Ollie Collins? Is that the guy we're looking... Oh. 
Why is so many ollies? Sup, Daniel? How you doing, dude? Right. I gotta go. Well, I gotta go. Ah, actually, what? Who's that guy? Chisholm. How do I miss Chisholm? In the back row. What team was he on? Oh, it was. Ah, oh, Quinns. How do I miss Chisholm? Where is he? Oh, Ollie Hassel Collins. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. I couldn't remember the last part of his name. I knew he had a hyphen name. What if I go by alphabetical order? Can I? Nope. Oh, I'm so bad when it comes to this stuff. Where are you, Chisholm? Where's Harlequins? Here we go, Harlequins. Cunningham South? No. No, no. Oh, here we go. Chisholm! Oh, James Chisholm! That's a different one. Oh, it's actually got all their fixtures. Okay, cool. Okay, screw, screw Chisholm. Let's go to the backs. Oh. Right. Super Rugby Rejects. Louis Schroeder. Yeah, Jack. Where is he? There he is. Louis Schroeder straight in. Bath! Yes, another Bath player. Who else we got? Joey Powell. Oh, yes. In you go, Joey. Well, there we go. Scrum halves are easy. Schroeder and Powell. Nice. Done. Right. Tens. Robert De oh, you know what? I just saw Pierre. Yeah, I saw Pierre Francis as well. <laughs> and Pollard. Ooh, Pollard might not be a good splash of the cash. Matthias Maroney. Um, is he listed as a midfielder? Surely a midfielder or an outside back? Because he can play both. Oh, Orlando as well. Oh, oh the Argentinians. Nice. Nice. I'm going to run out of money. Oh, no, I've still got half my salary. All right. Uh, so we probably could splash on Pollard. Super Rugby Reject Pollard. And I'm going to go Piers Francis because he played for the Blues. As much. Oh, and he's Bath as well. Yes. <laughs> More Bath players are better. Johnson Rensburg, Maroney. Oh no, I'm in my Bath limit. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh well, screw it. No more Bath boys. Right. Um. Right. What are you looking at? I like um. I like the Argentinians, my T. Oh, are both the Carreras is in here? Oh. <gasps> Oh, I like Mateo Carreras. I've got to jump on him for sure. What am I looking at here? Van Rensburg, yes. Well, it's not the same Van Rensburg. It's not Johan Jans Van Rensburg. That's all right. Oh, Chris Harris is in there too. Oh, how good. Andre Esterhazen. Yeah, could jump on him too. I oh, wear the... The uh, Argentinians must be. Who's P. O'Connor? Piers O'Connor? No. Oh, there's. Oh, there's Maroni and Orlando. And Berger Ondal. Oh, my goodness me. You're right. We've got all the players. Who said Berger before? Someone said Berger Ondal before. Good call. Good call. Right. Maroney, Orlando, Berger. Who else we got? Esther Hazen. Yeah, the Carreras boys will be outside backs, right? Surely the um hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself now. Right. Let's get Maroney. I'm gonna get three midfielders. I feel like I'm gonna get all three. And Orlando. There we go. Two from Newcastle. And do we go Janssen Rensburg? I think we might. Carter. There's Solomon Carter in the outside backs as well. Is um, Karenis in here? As a 10? Like Santiago Karenis? Sean Maitland. <gasps> I've got to get Sean Maitland. So they don't consider Santiago Karenis a 10. That's interesting. 
Oh, man, the backs are so easy. Oh, there's Mateo. I'm sorry, Mateo Kiritas has to go. Oh, 10 million. Oh, wow. Oh, he would burn. He's still about. Here's Hassel Collins. Um, Carter. We've got to get Mateo Kiritas. Surely he's a try scoring machine, right? At this level? Surely. Holina. And Flaherty. Oh, no, these are Sean Maitland. Sorry, mate. You're in. You're straight in, Sean. I've got 9 million for two more players. Where's Celeste Vianu? Is he at the bottom? Hopefully he's cheap. I can't. I can't see him. I've probably passed him. That's how blind I am. A cutter is a center. Oh, okay. So I could save money. I could get rid of um, Van Rinsberg because he's not really a super rugby reject. Really? Carter is a... Oh, there's Vianu. He's 5 mil. Oh, right. Let's change this then. We get rid of Rensburg and we'll get Solomon Ikata. Surely he's cheaper. Then Rensburg was 6 mil. Alex Willis. He's not a super rugby reject. What are you talking about, Jack? Is he? He might be. It's been so many super rugby rejects. Where's, uh, oh, there he is. Oh, no, he's, oh, I'm on my limit for Leicester. Oh, no. I could swap out a prop. Oh, Alex Willis is your mate. Is that for an outside back? Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll do that for you for sure. He'll be right down the bottom because he'll be cheap. There he is. Is this fella? Nice. We'll get him in there for the lols. There you go. Another. Another sale player. Right, we need to change. I should probably change out that prop to allow me Solomon Carter. So I need to find another prop. A Super Rugby Reject prop. There was some ideas there earlier for props. Uh, who was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Ollie Hoskins. Yes. My go of him. He was at the Western Force. There he is. Saracens. Bang. Two mil. Cost me an extra million. That means I got six mil left for Solomon Kata. He played for the Warriors. That's close enough to Super Rugby. Kepu was it Irish? Oh, but the Irish are gone. I've got two million left. Here's me, I'm Captain Minor Pacifica. Who can I upgrade for two mil? I like that team. That's a fun team, man. Curtis Rona. Jeez, what names? There's way more backs, right? There's way more backs than there is forwards. Like, you look at outside backs. Who have we got? Carreras, Santiago. I'd love to get Santiago Carreras as well. Seven mil. Only give me five if I got that. And he's going to kick as well. Hmm. Vayanu, nice. Oh, Lucio Sinti. Oh, I like Lucio Sinti. Why is he now so back? He's clearly a midfielder. Boschoff. Oh, Aiden Boschoff, a different one. Don't know who any of these guys are. No idea about midfielders. I think we've got all the Super Rugby rejects we could probably fit. How many, <laughs> how many bath? I mean, how many beers players have we got? One, two, just two beers players. What a great team! Ivan Van Zell, well, he's a scrum half, wasn't he? Maui, really? Maui was in there. He's not a Super Rugby reject though. Bello is. Makes me sick that you maxed out on Bath. <laughs> oh, jeez. But it's good Bath players, though. Look. Thomas Detoy. Fergus Lee Warner. They're all Super Rugby rejects, man. Piers Francis, Louis Schroeder. This is, this is what the team's called, man. It's a Super Rugby rejects. James Ram. Man, 
Ben, how are you finding all these guys? Who's this guy? Joe Snow. <laughs> what a crazy name. And then you got a good season with Finn Russell at the helm. Who knows? Hopefully the hopefully the Super Rank rejects go well. That's all I care about. And Mr. Carreras. Oh, this guy could go great. Oh. Here's James Ram. He is a Super Rank reject. What's he worth? Six mil. See, I can't free up six mil. I got two mil left, and if I dumped anyone, yeah, I could free up that money. But really, Carreras, Vianu, Maitland, and Jack's bait, Jack's buddy, Jack's buddy could get the chop. <laughs> Robert Dupre, yeah, we saw Robert Dupre as well, mighty. There's a there was a lot of Super Rugby rejects. We've cashed out on Pollard though. We've gone big with Andre and Piers Francis. We'll see who starts. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Is it unlimited transfers until... Oh, for, for 19 hours. Great. Great. So unlimited transfers till about 6 a.m. Awesome. Hopefully they all name their teams tonight, right? Hopefully they do that. Oh, Max Maidens would have been good. I would have, I would have picked him up for Bristol, but he's not a super rugby reject, you see? Why is this guy so expensive? Caden Murley. 22% popularity. Wow. Hassel Collins is number one outside back. Selection. Henry Slade. Oh, look at the big names here. Murley should be in the England team. Well, it looks like it, right? Look how look how popular they all are. 100 times better than the Daily of May. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of tell who's popular, right? Like, Hassel Collins, Murley was top try scorer in the Premiership last season. This guy seems popular. A lot of people have gone with Radwan. Adam Radwan. He doesn't sound English. Where's this fella? Tyrone Green. He's former Super Rugby. He played for the Lions. Oh, we could have got him. Who's this guy? Tommy Freeman. Yeah, I know that guy. Is that Mike? Mike Brown still plays? Really? Jeez, he must be like a hundred by now. Dog and a singer. Bath, good bath player. Love that. Ollie Foley. Yeah, there's our boy. There's our boy from uh, Gloucester with Max Wilson. Mike Brown is still really good. Really? How old is he? He must be like a hundred. Does our team work on both leagues? Yeah, Arch. Yep. So you pick one team and it, it just, yeah, it goes to both leagues. So if you score a hundred points, you get a hundred points on both leagues. So you can't have two different leagues. 80. Yeah, I know, Mighty. He feels like he's 80, right? Who's this guy? Tom De Glanville. What a weird name. He's 38. Jeez, that's crazy for a back. They can get away with it as like a hooker or a prop, you know, but as a back, I find that quite difficult. Who's Hodge? Josh Hodge. Thought that might have been Reese. What are you guys thinking about this guy? Louis Liner. I know the Australians think that he's the second coming of God. They think he's amazing. Mainly because, um, you know, his old man is, is still on TV there. He looks after himself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We should all be doing that, right? Um, Jack? <laughs> Who's Roebuck? Tom Roebuck. All these new names. I don't know, half these players. Louis a good player. He's still very young, though, right? They, they, they're they trying to bring him back to an Australian Super Rugby team. They keep trying every season. And old um, his old man's just like, yeah, I went to work, just come back to Super Rugby. But it never happens. He wants him to be a Wallaby. But I don't think they, he really cares about being a Wallaby. Why would you want to? Why would you want to be a Wallaby? Slide home. There's a name I know. Not from that guy, though. No one's picking McConaughey? Why? He had a really good year a couple years ago. 
Hands off. <laughs> That's the thing. Is England trying to get him residency? Really? I think he can. Yeah, because isn't their mother English? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he is English. That's why he's over there, because they moved to England after um, after his old man finished playing. This guy's starting and no one's picked him. Richard Lang. What's what's wrong with Richard Lang? 1% of popularity and yet he's already confirmed starting. Oh, must be garbage at Bristol. Jeez, garbage. Hammersley. I think he can qualify for England, yeah. I think that's what he's tossing up. But he can always go back to Australia, you know. So he could play. He also qualifies for Italy, really. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I think he's trying to get the qualification for England. And then he's going to go before he wants. Oh, he was born in Italy. Oh, crazy. I knew they moved um, away. I thought they moved to England. They must have moved to Italy. Had a kid. The Italian pizza. You know, that's what it's all about. Uh, have a baby. It I tell ya. He also qualifies for high run. <laughs> you imagine that. That'll be the pick. Who would want to play for Australia or England? I oh, know that's probably why he's not committed, right, Jack? It's like, you yeah, know, I'll see if I can get England citizenship. And then it's like, Wallabies suck. England sucks. It's like, why can't I play for a good team? You almost would play for Italy, wouldn't you? Jeez, they're not much worse. Crazy selections. I think you'll. I think. I think you'll come back to Australia. I think you'll come back to Australia. I think his old man will pressure him into it. I think his old man will be like, "Right here, look here, boy. You'll come back to Australia. You got to play for the Wallabies. Play for Eddie Jones for his third time." <laughs> Right, I'm saving that for now. Yes. You have a French long lost grandparent at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> no, no, that was my perfect Australia, right? Pick my starting lineup. I do Eddie Jones is better. Don't know what you're talking about, mate. Don't know what you're talking about. Swap them. Because he's actually starting. Why has he got to be exclamation mark? No one's actually starting anyway, so he's already English qualified. That must have only been in the last season, right? Because he wasn't at the end of last Super... No, at the start of last Super Rugby season, which late late last year sort of thing, he wasn't then. Oh, no, I've got to pick a kick captain. Yeah, I'm I'm contemplating doing that right now, Arch. <laughs> I don't know who to pick for a captain. I don't know who's starting and who's playing. I'm gonna have to wait for the um um selections. At the moment, I've only got Powell starting. Well, Pollard's not starting because Leicester's picked their team, so I'll swap out for Pierce Francis for Bath. Hehehe. <laughs> right. Oh, he just got injured. Okay, he's only been picked a few times. Right. Well, Luatu is on the bench. CEO Hoskins. Oh, look at that. Scott Young. Okay, so I'm waiting on... Kareris probably won't start. But we can say that. Who's the captain? Who's going to give us the points? Oh, I like my Argentinian midfield. Maroni and Orlando. That's nice. Maroney's my captain. You have eight starting already, Arch. Wow. Well done, man. I got one. Who's going to kick? Oh, vice captain. Oh, <laughs> Orlando. <laughs> yeah, up the Pumas. Uh, kicker. Um, Who's going to kick? Oh, Maitland's out there, though, as well. I guess Francis will probably kick, right? If anyone. Good choice. Backup kicker. Uh, Pollard, he's not going to kick. He ain't kicking. Right. My team's going to be mud for the first round. 
until all those players come back. Look at that. What a team. What a team. I got, I got Fergus Lee to come in. Shrewd, Powell starting, so I'll keep with Powell. Right, that's not bad. I don't mind that team. Oh, I need to change the name. How do I change my name? I had to change the name of my team somehow. Cal and Dickie was in Super Rugby. Yeah. I don't know what else to pick. <laughs> There's not many hookers. And I wanted a good one. I don't actually know why I picked him. Are you going pulled in settings? That's how you change your team? Okay, I'll do that in a sec. I can hover over pull. All right, we'll do that in a tick. Oh, I could go with Van Vuren. Ah, that's a different Van Vuren. There's a cog. Oh, I see. That's the pool. That's the pool settings. Features. Where's my team? On the pool. What? I was on the pool. Oh, there. Ah, oh, there. Ah. Ah. Oh. Why am I finding the wrong thing? Right. Click the pod on the pool. On that pool or on the other pool? Oh, you can't. You can see that pool. That pool. Oh, it's gone away. That's for the pool names. That's for the actual pool. Or are we talking about this one here? I don't know what that one there does. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. As long as we don't leave them with the... What are they called? Cornflakes Ebulent Marines. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Ah, info. Ah, here. Here we, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you know how to change the name. Okay, we'll work it out. My team details. There we go. Yeah, I sorted it out. There you go, Arch. <laughs> so you got uh, info. Oh, not that info. Yeah, info and then that cog. I see the cog. Then you go to my team details and click on that. And that brings you here. So this is going to be the Super Rugby Rejects. That's what it's going to be called. Director of Coaching. Um, oh, bus driver sounds good. My motto. Inspirational words. Um, hello. Head Chef. <laughs> I didn't see Head Chef. Ah. <laughs> head Chef's a good one. Uh, team Doctor. Vision coach, right? We're saying bus driver. In which town or city? Um, oh, a stadium as well? Oh, the reject. Um, uh, what's the stadium? What are stadiums called? This is reject stadium. Uh, in, in, in rejectville. God, I don't know what I'm doing. Colours for a flag. Oh, my God. Um, oh, we got stripes, columns, checks. Diag oh, diagonals is cool. What's this for? Rejects. Red. A bit of black. Oh, that's bad. Red. A bit of blue. What am I even doing? Got to get some yellow in there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's bright. Good God. Okay, we'll get the red. Blue looks a bit crappy too. There we go. Darker red. There we go. Right, we're done. We're ready to go. 
absolutely sorted. Did someone put their team? Uh, okay, my team's put his team in there. My, te my team's going to have an incredible team. Let's have a look at this. I have to switch it across. Hang on. Shoo. There we go. You can see there. All right, my team. What do you got, man? He's got Scott Sio too, and he's got Detoy. He's got Facker. Uh, he's got Gray and Luis in the second row. Bath boy, Cleotti, Marissa, and Visa. More Bath. Well, he's got four Bath players as well. <laughs> right on cue, Fears. Right on cue. <laughs> Spencer, Smith, Joseph, Dingwall, Hassel Collins, Muir, and Green. Oh, the Bath boys. The Bath boys. Come on, lads. Yes. Did you put your team in the chat? I can probably click on it, can't I? Oops, what have I done there? I can probably find your team on the leaderboard. I've got Bears teams there. Oh, the Blades. Can you look at the t people's teams? Oh, you can't. Oh, boo. Big boo. Where's your team, Jack? I didn't see your team on the uh, Discord. Uh, my Caesar's here. Archers is there. Oh, that's all I got. I can't check out your team until it starts. I can't even look at Bear's team. Boo. Boo. That's, that's dumb. My team supports Bath. Well, there you go. That's why he's got such an incredible Bath team. No, I can't see it, Jack. You have to put it in, chuck it in Discord if you want us to have a look at it. He's got a Bristol guy, though, Bears. Look, he's got Randall. That's... Oh, he's also got Facker. That's it. Wow, he's really... <laughs> he's not picking many... Not very many Bristol players. <laughs> oh, jeez. Blood, sweat, and beers. I like that. Nice. <laughs> oh, mighty. Just leave it for the field talking, mighty. Out in the field, when Bath go and smash Newcastle. At least you're starting around run, Arch. Yeah, true. True, true, true. Um, is there any other rugby fantasy teams? Rugby. There's a URC fantasy. Do you guys want to do a URC fantasy as well? Jesus, that would be even worse. It's probably going to be a... Uh, man, imagine all these fantasies. It's going to be that and the NBA. Oi, 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 oi. I think the URC one has just gone live. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, yes. There'll be heaps of Super Rugby Rejects in here. Stormers. Why have we only got the Stormers? Oh, the Bulls. There they go. Change a couple of things on your team. At least we didn't sign a coach for five years. It was all the tools. But no idea. <laughs> uh, it's a Discord now. All right, we'll have a look, Jacko, before we move on. Here we go. It's Jack's team. Oh, look. Perfectly sized. You'll somehow end up picking Bath players in the URC. <laughs> oh, was this? Hang on. Was this Jax? Yeah, that was Jax. Oh, Arch has updated his. Okay, Arch, we'll have a look at yours in a sec, man. Right, here's Jack. Here's the master. Right. Going up against Yayan. Hopefully Yayan's got uh, got his team involved before we start off. He'll, he'll watch the rest of the stream. It's all right. Right, CO, Facker. Everyone's going Facker. Facker must be a pretty popular guy. Uh, Vunny Paula. Good team, Jack. Just one bar. <laughs> Mr. Hill, he's got... He's got Louis Schroeder on the bench, though. And he's got Dunn on the bench. So, technically, he's got three bar. And he's only got... Two Bristol. <laughs> uh, what's the midfield? Oh, good old angry man. Johnny Hill. Yes, a segue. In the middle. Marissa. Ludlow. Nice. Hill. It's a good team. 
Uh, Randall at nine with Smith for Northampton. Joseph and Slade. Jeez, Radwan. See, everyone's going that Radwan guy. Murley and Vayanu. Well, I've got, I've got to stay loyal to my Super Rugby rejects. It's going to be actually hard to do that. Oh, well. Bottom of the table for me. Ford Robinson, Dunn, McFarland, Willis, Struder, Sheedy, Kelly, and Hathaway on the bench. What are they doing playing with me? I'm a Mercer. <laughs> Good popular name, right? Number six. Rad one is like Mateo. Oh, okay. Rapid, I see. That's why they're picking him. I saw he was popular, my T. So that doesn't surprise me. Small rapid centers create something out of nothing. Yeah. I can see why he's a popular player. That's a good team. You've actually got sensible players who are probably going to play a lot of games. <laughs> unlike my side. Might be faster than Arundel. Wow. That's a bold call. Right, here's, here's Archer's updated team. He hasn't picked his namesake. No Mercer. Right, what changed? Oh, Abano, another Bath guy. He's got Chisholm, McNally, Henderson. Okay, there's a few changes in here, I've noticed. Back here as well. He's got he's got he's got more Bristol players. Uh Thomas. Fissy Lau. Randall, more, oh, more Bristol, okay. He's got Rad one in there, good. Hassel Collins, oh, it's, look at that, all Leicester just about in the back row. I like Archer's team for Bristol. <laughs> he didn't like Archer's team before. He's put the Bath guys on the bench. Look, Spencer and Dunn are on the bench. So there's technically still four Bath. He's just swapped them out, eh? The four Bristol guys in the starting lineup, wow. Okay. I see some trends here, team. I see a lot of trends. Radwin's popular. Hassel Collins is popular. Uh, Randall is popular. Where they belong. <laughs> Fair enough, Bears. Can't argue with that. On the bench. Thacker and Dunn are like the super popular hooker choices. Which I have neither. Great job. Well done, me. Okay, nice. Good team. I'm gonna, I guess I'm just going to have to watch it as it builds up to its starts and go from there. Janssen Rensberg, does he kick? That's the other thing too. I don't know who always kicks. Porter, Atkinson doesn't kick. I guess Porter must kick for Leicester. There we go. Thacker was in top, top three try scorers last year. That'll be why, Bears. That'll be why everyone's gone with Thacker at hooker. But me? Oh, no. Where will you be able to watch it? Um, good question. Good question. I don't even know if actually Sky, like here, does it. Um, you can maybe hope someone might stream it in the Discord if they're watching it at the same time. Uh, I don't even know if I'll be able to watch it. Because Sky doesn't really do the Premiership. A really quick hooker. Depends, uh, where are you? You're in... You're in Scotland, surely the uh, the UK coverage will have it, right? Premiership, I would expect. No one here has it, that's for sure. Uh, if 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 Sky stream it themselves, mighty, um, I can. Uh, but if anyone else is watching it on their PC, they can stream it. Any anyone can stream in the Watch Party channel. If you're what, even if you're watching whatever, if you want to stream it, go ahead. Um, if anyone else wants to watch it. I know they do have... Sky here does do top 14. Bizarrely. Um, yeah, oh, you could, Mighty. Well, there you go. Mighty might do it. Um, yeah. Mighty will put some in there for your arch. So, if anyone wants to slap it in there on the uh, Discord, go for it. Yeah. If everyone can stream their screen or share their screen on Discord. So, if anyone else wants to stream any of the games, like... Premiership, URC, Top 14, whatever. Uh, go crazy. Go crazy. You can knock yourselves out. <laughs> Bath's one of your favourite away days? Really? I wouldn't mind going to Bath. I would not mind going to Bath. There's lots of places I want to go to. Well, there you go, Arch. Um, check out the Discord. Uh, my team will try to share some on there. Uh, if Sky is showing some, I can try to show some on there as well. 
Uh, otherwise, yeah, find out who your actual proper coverage is, is that show it uh, in your country. Probably the only thing. Or, or go to the good old dodgy ads, ad-laden uh, <laughs> streaming websites. Right, I'm going to quickly have a look at this. I'm going neutral again. Here we go. URC. Clayton Blumertees. I know that one. Yes. Got one already. You'll be on for the games to get more rugby watch. Yep. Sweet. Let's just chuck a comment there. See if anyone's watching it when the games are on. Um, I'm sure if anyone can, they will happily, happily chuck it on for you, dude. Johnny McNichol. Oh, I know a lot of these guys. Yes. I should start in the forwards. Start in the, um, the dirty places. See who I know here. Franz Mahalbert. Trying to think of who else I know. In Shay. I mean, lots of South Africans I go. Ooh. Oh, Michael Al Alatoa. He's at Leicester. Bang. Get him in. He played for the Crusaders. Ha <laughs> ha. Got you, mighty. Good thinking, man. Stephen Kitschoff at Ulster. Do you want to go with some that aren't? Gallo. Got to head off to bed now. Okay, Bears. It's late in the UK. I suppose it is late in the UK. It's probably half midnight, right? So fair enough, dude. Um, Thanks, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll be here for all the quarterfinals, dude. So if you want to come by anytime and uh, check in and say hi, feel free. For sure. Anytime. You are more than welcome. Charlie Nato is still at Leinster. Ooh, okay, let's get him in. Is he is he still a centre? Oh, actually, why don't I just search him? Uh, is he in a GTI? Charlie? <laughs> oh, N G A T A I. He is still at Leinster. There you go. Ah, oh, Leinster. Sorry, Leinster. Leinster. God. He was at the top, was he? <laughs> it's all right, I found him. Oopsie, what have I done there? He was, he was right there. <laughs> Shut up. Ooh, Malachi. Oh, he is too. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Nankerville. <gasps> oh. Damn it, that's my midfield gone already. There's probably more as well. Sam? Oh, it's the only author was Sam. There's Rohan Johnson van Rensburg. He played for the Lions. Lucky Turner? Oh, Liam Turner. De Jong still plays, Jack? What? He does too. He's still at the Stormers. Like centuries later. Wow. He must be old. He must be old. We're in a cock. Hollywood bets sharks. Oh, my word. No, no. Different Marshall. Cornell Hendricks. You're a Crusaders. <laughs> uh, Al Alatoa. Dills. Michael Al Alatoa played for the Crusaders. De Jong's only 35. Wow, look at this. Harold Vorster, Lionel Mapu, Cornell Hendricks. Well, Smith. It's just, oh, Chris Smith. They missed out the scene. There's three guys. They had the Bulls that played for the Bulls back when they were in Super Rugby. Crazy. Not much else. Down these low parts, there's no one. All right. Thank God as well. Right, we'll start with the backs then. They're a bit more exciting. Clank Blumatis. <gasps> Cancellere. Johnny McNichol. Bang. Another Crusader. He's still in red. Is he playing for Munster? Scarlets. Oh, Ray Lilo. I can't see Ray Lilo. What about James Lowe? Oh, we could get James Lowe. Where's Hurston? Oh, God damn it. Got to get Wilson. Got to get, um, where is he? Oh, Lilo's a center. Oh, they can't fit. We've got to get Lowen. Got to get James Lowen. Uh, who else we got? 
One more. Hopefully a cheap one. Warwick Gallant. Leland Zass. Emiliano Buffelli. Jeez. Afalele Fassi. Marcus Oliver. Pimpi. Exactly. Oh, dude. That's what we're doing. We're Super Rugby Rejects, man. This is exactly what we're doing. Super Rugby Rejects. Um, for the URC. And we, did, we just did the Premiership, man. Now we're doing URC. Super Rugby Rejects. That's why we got Johnny McNichol. Now the question is... Deante as well. Sharks have still got some quality. Makes sense. Yes. Thank you. Billy LaRue. God. Skosan. Maxwani. Simon Zebo still plays? Goodness gracious me. Veteran. Kenna Moody is only 5 mil? Cheap. Sinatla! Sabino Sinatla! Oh, man! So many good players. Man, so many players. Far out. Okay, who do we pick that? I've got I think I've got to go off the king. I've kinda of gotta go off the king, don't I? I kinda of have to go off the king. But then Well he, oh, he's injured though. Oh hang on, he's injured. Josh McKay! Where'd you see Josh McKay? He played for the Highlanders, even better. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, 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 yes. Good one, YT. Good one, YT. Ben Loder went to the Stormers. He was all right. Oh, you picked him up. So there's all those players without teams, right? Right, teams might be a bit harder. Albanos, I don't think played for the Haguares. What happened to this guy? Now this guy. This guy was supposed to be the next thing since sliced bread for you chaps. And he just disappeared. Well, not disappeared, clearly. But did he get a massive injury? I remember like a, a year or two ago, uh, watching a video about him. He was at Wasps. Now he's gone to Benetton or Treviso. Is he still as good as he was like back then? Or has he kind of fallen off? Because I remember they were like, ah, oh, this guy, Umaga, he's amazing. Oh, Miotti. Miotti definitely played uh, Super Rugby. There's one, at least. Always overrated, my T. Ah, oh, okay. I'm going to have to watch some of these games. I'm going to have to... Um, England only like boring fly house. <laughs> he was... Oh, what's up, Billy? He was never really that good? Okay. Nice. Intriguing, right? It's, it's great. Is that you hire? Oh, it's Harry. Where's he hire West? Is he in France? I think he might be in France. Um, It's crazy how media can twist how good or bad people are, right? Who's this guy in international duty? Must be of Italy. Oh, he's at La Rochelle. Ah, we were right. Well done, my team. You're a bundle of knowledge. You're fantastic. I can't find another... Um, is that Jordan Hendricks? At, oh, it is. As a fly half? Must be different Hendricks, so the one that's at the World Cup. I don't have another um, Super Rugby reject. Johan Hussen? Ah, I guess he'll do. Man, Munster is stacked in the um, young tens, right? Crowley, Costello, and Carberry. I guess with the Umaga name and the fact he attempted to play fast and open rugby, the media had a field day. Yeah, you're probably right, Billy. Yeah. The name, I remember the name was a big, big deal. Even though it's like, doesn't mean you're a good player, right? I guess that sort of style doesn't really transfer over there, does it, very well. Costello is Scarlet's. Oh, oh, sorry. You're right, my T. I just saw Munster 
Munster, and then I saw another red box. I thought it was the same same thing. You're right, it is Scarlet's in there. It's hard to read that. Well played. Good spotting. Jeez, good. you guys have got good eyes. Um, right, yes, Johan. Gotta go, Johan. I've got not many other options. Right, nines. Look, Johan retired in 2015 or 2016. He's a champion, man. He's still there. At the Bulls. Right, who are we going to go for nines? Herschel Yankees? Could go Herschel. Ooh! I hate Gibson Park. Oh, did he come out of retirement? Oh, no. <laughs> going to some errors before you start work? Go on, you dill. Thanks for coming by, man. Always appreciate your comments. As everyone, come back again, please. <laughs> Oh, Francois Hogard. Ooh, with the Sharkies. Now, Francois, I think Francois is a good pick because he can play 9, 14, 15, anywhere. Oh, I like Hogard. I presume he still plays that way. What we need to do is we need to be able to live. We need to be able to live on um, all sorts of rugby. No, good to see you, Arch. Yeah, we'll be wrapping up soon anyway, Arch. I've been going on too long. Anscombe's at Ospreys. Where? As a 10? Uh, thanks for coming by though, Arch. Appreciate you as always, dude. I'll be back again. I'll come back for the... Um... What's the word? Quarterfinals. Not long enough. Nah, not when I got quarterfinals to do. I'll be up all, all night doing those quarterfinals. It's going to be like eight hours. You think Osprey's released him? You'll be here, Arch. Good to see, man. Three hours, not long enough. Oh, that's, i got painting today. Actually, i got painting to do today. Yeah, painting. That's going to be fun. See, Arch. Thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate you. Have a great night, dude. Yeah, I can't see Anscombe in here. I, I don't know how to spell his name properly. Is it A-N-S? That is right. Anscombe. Hang on. Yeah, it is Anscombe. He must have got the chop, man. Billy's right. He's gone. Who does he play for then? Currently plays for Ospreys. So it says here. But he must have got the chop. Wiki will know. Yeah, it says he said currently plays for Ospreys, but nothing there. Nothing there at all. All right. Don't need to worry about him then. Billy must be on to it. Ah. He went to Japan. Ah. That's from Bears? What's that? Is that Bears Group? You join up to that one if you want. That'll be his premiership group. I think he might. He'll probably start a URC one as well. Um, I'll start a URC one too. Do I go Gibson Park? He is, he is a Super Rugby reject, so yeah. He's the ultimate Super Rugby reject, right? And then, I've still got to do a whole forward pack. I'm down to 35 million. Oh, God. Ambrose Papier played. He played Super Rugby. Devin Arker. Oh, I loved his name. DeWolf Devin Arker. I liked him. Hendricks. Uh, oh, no. Frank Hoggard. Got to go Hoggy. Got to go Hoggy. 100%. That's me. I'm done. Hoggy. Bertano's down there. Gonzalo Bertano. He's playing for Dragons? Wow. He played for the Jaguares as well. Alright. Into the forwards. Let's start the back row. That might be a slight be bit more exciting. Oh, I'm at my Leinster. Max? Okay. Whoops. None of those guys are super angry rejects anyway. 
Daimani's not. I would have thought I would have maxed out the South African teams first. But apparently not. So Daimani played Super Rugby. Um, no one there. Butler. Willemie Mata didn't. I don't think he played. Hamish Watson didn't either. Jack Dempsey. Ooh. Yep, and you go, Jack. You definitely play. We are running out of money, though. We are quickly running out of money. Oh, here I was. Uh, Ferguson. All the, yeah, all the uh, South African guys. Then Staden. Hen Is that Henry Stowers? Oh, Henry Stowers. He definitely played Super Rugby. In you go, Henry. We are super quickly running out of money. Uh, where's Henry? There he is. Right. Who else we got? Is that Dion Fury? He plays Super Rugby too. William Albert's played Super Rugby. Man, these guys must be old. Surely. Is that Via Fafita? Via Fafita's in. He definitely played. Hurricanes legend. Who else we got? One more. Lois Shay, did he play? Did he play Super Rugby? Oh, Sunwolves, didn't he? Oh, of course, Sunwolves days. Yes, you're right. I forgot about Sunwolves days. Let's see what else we got. We'll go back to him. I'm not seeing too many outliers, though, like weird names. Tane Plumtree. Never played Super Rugby. Oh, he played for South African team as well. True. I guess that's where he come from, right? Well, we might have to go with him, actually. Where is he? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go straight. Oh, there he is. Lapis. And you go. Four mil. Bang. Can't afford it. Too bad. We're in. We might have to change some backs. Right. It's a bad. No way we can afford that. 15 mil for three seven players. Oh, we've got to go two mil or less. Although these guys are cheap. The way we're going. Oh, is that Lapiti Tamani? There you go. Lapiti. He's three. We can we can go off that. Lapiti played Super Rugby. Uh, what else we got? Ben Carter. Not Ben. Sam Lousy. Okay, we could go Sam Lousy again. He's too expensive though, but screw it. Sam Lousy's in. Oh, I misclicked. Sam Lousy, he played Super Rugby. Uh, who else? Yep, you're on to it, Billy. <laughs> you said it just as I put him in. Uh, what else you got? No, no, no. Van Heerden. Is that... Oh, no. Emil Van Heerden. A lot of same names. Jacques Duplessis. Jacques Duplessis did. He's two mil. He's cheap. Might have to go off Jacques. I can't see anyone else. Even in the South African sides down this low. Jax is... Oh, Hiron Andrews, though. Ooh, Hiron Andrews definitely did. Jean Klein, JP Dupree. They're up the top, though. They're expensive. Oh, yeah, Klein. I didn't see him right at the top. Five mil. Expensive one. I didn't see Dupree, though. Two mil. That might be a, that might be a better option. Yeah. Good call. Good call. I just searched. <laughs> okay, so we've got seven million for four props. So we're going to have to get a cheapie. Oh, no, they don't go any lower than two. Oh, bugger. That means we're one. Yeah, that's what Yeah, that's what they're called, man. They're the, uh, oh, no, sorry. Where's the Sharks guy? They're called the Hollywood Bet Sharks. That's sponsorship, I guess. That's all I can think of. They're a bit weird, right? They've all, um, South African teams are a bit like that. Like, what are the Bulls? They're still the Vodacom Bulls. Okay, they've still got the same sponsorships. Uh, what are the Stormers? Are they still DHL? They are still DHL. So it's just sponsorship, man. 
Money. Absolute money. We might have to change. We might have to cheap out on someone. Don't know who, but we might have to cheap out on someone. We're going to have to go to the cheapies. Jeez. What are we looking at? Oh, we got two hookers. Right. We can't go much over two mil. Oh, bongi. Oh, bongi stream. We're going to have to change someone. We're going to have to cheapen out on someone. I don't know who. Maybe someone in the backs. Jeez, I don't know who. We've got no big monies. Johnny McNichol, maybe. They're all like real super rugby rejects. So all four of those are real super rugby. So are they. Maybe we could change to a cheaper 10. We'll see. Let's just bank the picks. Van Vuren is there for... I, I like Bongi. I'm going to go Bongi for sure. He's worth 3 mil. Uh, Bongi is one and... Oh. Yeah, go Ray Lilo and cheapen out on one of those midfielders. It's probably not a bad, bad option. Yeah, we'll have a look at that after. We'll pick, we'll pick who we want, and then we'll save some money. Groblar. Now Groblar played uh, as did Acker, Acker van der Merwe. Four mil. Jeez, why are we the expensive guys again? Got to go the cheapies. You got to get a cheapie. Versace played for the Lions. The toy is that. Jacques Lewis. Okay, it's not Thomas. Hmm. And Bartha. Buckley, Perry Lies. No, no, no. Benzel. Oh, it's not even Ivan Benzel. None of those Italians would have. We're going to have to go. Interbini. Oh, Interbini's still there. Yeah, that's my boy. Interbini. In you go. Right, we've got two mil left. Uh, two props. Right, and then we can. Yeah, then we'll cheap out. Oh, we could go Franz. Oh, we go, we gotta go Franzi, right? El Alatoa, we've got. Uh, what else? Kitschoff. Oh, he's an Ulster. Wow, traitor. He left the Stormers. Unbelievable. Oh, we gotta go Gallo. You know, Super Rugby does not sell off many front rowers. Is that Kieran? No, it's Conrad. Kieran was a hooker. Kieran Van Vuren. Man, there's not much down here. Oh, Tete Shaparo. One mil. Oh, the props are cheap. Willis Holoholo. Is he still playing there? Okay, we've got to get Tete Shaparo. Who's he playing for? Oh, he's playing for Treviso. <laughs> no wonder he's cheap. Oh, man. Kuboka at the Stormers is only worth one mil as well. Satoli. Ah, different Satoli. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, say, he's normally an outside back. Vincent Kosh. Vincent Kosh is only worth one mil? Is, it, is Gareth Thomas at Ospreys? One mil. Why are these guys so cheap? Wilco Low? It is Wilco. Holo Holo and Lilo were a mean midfield in Cardiff. That's a very powerful midfield combination, Billy. That's a really good, powerful midfield combination. All right. Well, we could really cheap out uh, with these $1 million props. We give it a Franzi. And we could get on with... Um, is that Corne? A Cornard... A number of these cheap props. Where's, where's Vincent Kosh? I'm, I want to get Vincent Kosh in because he think Yeah. All right, Franz. Cam and audio out of sync. Might be you. It could be. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Could be. Or it's probably kind of overheat and blow up. Because it's getting rather warm. I can't find Vincent. There he is. Right, we'll get Vincent in. We've got three props who are all on international duty. Hey, look, are we in, are we inside the salary cap? Oh, we are. Oh, holo, holo, left Cardiff. That's a shame. It was you, Jack. <laughs> it 
It's telling you you've been watching too long. This or this. It's like, you've been on this for ages. I think we've smoked it. We've got zero dollars. Gotta love the one million dollar props, right? Oh, ho ho. Okay, we don't need to look to Lilo. We can keep Nankerville for Katara and Natai. Nice. Nice. Well, I surprised myself. Good old cheap props, eh? Good old cheap props. Right, starting lineup. Oh, I got the dumb name again. Hang on. Gotta call it the Super Rugby Rejects. Uh, are we gonna be the bus driver again, or shall we be the? Oh, Waterboy's a bit cliche. I like bus driver. Motto, hello. Um, this is my inspiring words for Super Rugby Rejects. Play better than you did in Super Rugby, and and you'll be fine. There we go. Which city or town? Um, we'll, go, we'll go back to Rejectville again. Um, the stadium. Um, so the No Hope HQ. There we go. Uh, we'll go way back to Diagonals. And we'll go with a little bit of... Um, let's mix it up. We'll go to yellow at the top this time. And we'll go to black in the middle. And we'll go a little bit of a, a tasty a tasty dark red at the bottom. Right. There we go. Oh, now we've got to pick our starting for thing. Right, right, right. Here we go. Um, look at that. That's actually a really... I mean, that, that would be a really good team. Look at that power. Look at that power in that back five. Lousy and Tamani in the second row. Stowers for Fita and Dempsey. That, that, is, that is incredible. Miotti, who's in running, a, a running number 10. Miotti was quite fun. A powerful and experienced front row. Oh, I like this team. Look at this. Nata and Fikitoa. A oh, powerful midfield. Finishes. Wes Wilson, Johnny McNichol, and James Lowe. Whoa, what a team. What a team. I like that. I really like that team. That's really fun. Right, captain. Captain McNichol. I like McNichol. Yep, let's hope he leads by example. Vice captain, James Lowe. Kicker will certainly be Miotti. And our backup kicker will be whoever's on the bench. Johan, look at that. Oh, I like that team. That is, that's an awesome team. That's an awesome team. Beat that. URC's got way more Super Rugby rejects than, than the Premiership. Nice. I'll make a league. Actually, if anyone wants to join it. Um, what's this? Superlative Mutants. I don't know what that is. I'll start another pool. If you guys want to join, feel free. Uh, I will. I'll just use the World Cup one. Anyone's on that, you'll get an invite. Uh, but it'll be called the uh, Super Rugby Rejects. Any pool open. Anyone can join. There you go. Hang out. Super Egg Rejects is open. How many... How long till this tournament starts? Oh, there's still a week. Okay, so it starts next weekend. So we should be right. The Tongans, uh, the Samoans, they should all be back. So your Lausies, your Tamanis, your Al Alatoas, your Tite Shaparos. Might be a bit stuck on front rows. El Alatoa will be back. Uh, Bongi might not be into being. He will be there, though. Uh, James Lowe will be back at home because he's going out this weekend. You know, so no problems. <laughs> no problems. <laughs> I think we're good. I'm good. I'm happy. I like that team. Done. Well, this turned into a much different stream than I was expecting. Goodness gracious me. Unbelievable. Great fun. I like that team. Right, chuck yours in the Discord if you're making one as well. <laughs> Jack, I knew someone would bite to that. They really timed the tournament knowing that the English would be back uh, out. Wow. 
Shots fired. Poor old England. I guess they just go straight back, right? They, they literally fly out of France and they go back to wherever they're playing. And they start playing. Why not? I guess that's the way of the world, right? Professional rugby. Can't believe you didn't think they would get out of the pool. <laughs> you got to get some sort of, you know, um, controversial pick, right? It's been pretty stale, hasn't it? Like the World Cup in terms of predicted teams to go through. Scotland didn't do anything. I guess Fiji and Australia, that was the big one. That was the only one. You want to see them make the final? Jeez. Good luck, Dills. Good luck, man. I mean, if they can beat England this weekend, it would be fantastic. But then they'll have to beat South Africa, right? Yeah. Or, or France, I should say. So that's three massive, well, two massive games. Yes, they can. So Fiji, winner of Fiji and England plays the winner of France versus South Africa. We did look at this the other day. Um, here it is here. There you go. Just because that text, that green text goes so well on blue. If they make the final, they can win. True. What's up, Melia? Hope you're doing well, dude. How's your uh, week been on this glorious Friday? So you see by that, yeah, Dills, if um, Fiji win, yeah, they play France or South Africa. So it could be, yes, a New Zealand-France final. That would be crazy, right? I can't see it happening. <laughs> but it would be funny. <laughs> Eddie Jones. Oh, yeah, it's Fiji. Fiji versus New Zealand final. It can still be a France versus New Zealand final too. Yeah, Fiji! God damn it, Fiji! Jesus, you guys are a bit fired up for the middle of the night. Eddie Jones gets stuffed. He's a traitor. Always has been, always will be. Crazy. Hey, do you reckon he's, he's gone? Is, is he 100% gone yet? I should check Twitter. I'm backing the All Blacks for the rest of the World Cup because some of my friends are AB friends. Good job, Melia. Grab that second team and um, hope that they don't get knocked out this weekend. <laughs> have we got any other teams yet I did say the All Blacks have scored about 11 tries more than any other team in the top 8 doesn't seem to be any change or any announcements what did he Jones get sacked I think he'll, he'll leave before he gets sacked, right? He talks about bringing the Wallabies back and proceeds to destroy them. Any momentum we were building with Rennie. Yeah, he did, man. He really, he really put them under the, under the bus big time. Massively, massively. Well, there's no, no announcements, right? So... Don't seem to be anything happening. World Rugby's doing nothing. At all. No teams. No nothing. Wales have named Wales, New Zealand, Argentina have named theirs. And we wait for the rest. Yeah, old Eddie, eh? Old Eddie, I reckon he's gone. Oh, and he's gone. He'll be off. Off on the bus. Way back. Way back to Japan. And then what's he going to do to Japan? But how do you know he's going to actually do any good? Is he actually going to uh, help? Yeah, the Japan players don't deserve any. Is he actually going to do any good? Are you seeing, looking at it like, Oh, good. He, yeah, okay, he's going to Japan. And it's like, Japan really don't want that. They won't want all that debacle. 
that loser running this show. Why is Japan wanting him back here? That's the other thing. He's not quite the player he was, or the coach he was uh, back when he was here the first time. You probably go there, get some money for two or three years, low expectations, low delivery, and then you'll bail. Who's going to coach the Wallabies now? Amelia, who's going to coach you Wallabies? That's the big question. Screw, screw Japan. They're gonna, they're gonna fall apart now that now if Eddie's gone there. But who's gonna coach Japan? Steve Hansen. <laughs> I mean, who's gonna coach Australia? I mean, not Japan. Steve Hansen. Ian Foster. Ian Foster's gonna re. He's gonna bring the gang back together. Foster and Hansen back again. Coaching Australia. I wonder if they'll actually, like, develop. Like, they'll actually get better. Is it the coaching or is it the players? I think they've got a good enough team when you actually pick the best team. But uh, when you've got a, an absolute clown leading them around... It doesn't... Doesn't transform, does it? Really doesn't transform. Still no South African team. That's the weirdest thing ever. Oh, who's put some bets on for the weekend? Maybe Steve can be director of Rugby Australia and help build grassroots. What? He didn't do it here. Why is he going to do it to Australia? That's the crazy thing. It's more about the coach. The coach, the coach doesn't really build grassroots. All the coach does is coach the main team. Grassroots is all about the like the top people, right? They're the ones. The um what do they call themselves? The leaders. They're the ones that need to do it, Dills. We'll see if it happens. We'll see, we'll see if it happens. Right, well we've got we've got premiership fantasy. Jeez, we're going to have to have streams on that every week now for Premiership Fantasy and URC Fantasies. Oh, Top 14 Fantasies. Goodness gracious. I want to actually, before I go, before I go, I don't know if I've clicked on the right button there. I do want to. Not the right one, but it'll do. It'll do. Yeah, but a director of rugby is just a coach that's not a coach. It's really just someone to help out the main team without getting the responsibility. Really. That's all it really is. They don't really help with the the big masses in terms of di distributing money and that, like the like the um what's what are they called? The the top guy. I can't remember what he's called. The board members. Yeah, you know, the, the big the big chumps. We'll see. I certainly think that he could help. Do they do they do they ring up? Dave Rennie. It's like, hey, Dave. The CEO. There you go. Hey, Dave, you want your job back, mate? I know, I know we just screwed you before the World Cup, Dave, but but you want, you want your job back, Dave? We'll, we'll, we'll pay you extra. We've saved heaps of money by not paying Eddie. He was on a way bigger wage than you, Dave. Do you want to come back? You sure? Sure, Dave. You can come back, Dave. Right, who have I picked here? Will Jordan starting. Is Kareta starting? Where's Argentina? I'm sure Canetis is starting, right? I actually check the Argentinian team. Mateo is starting. He's an 11. Mateo's there. Mateo's the man. He's an 11. Will Jordan. Nasa Levu. And Pino. It's all midfielders and wingers. That's who's going to score my tries. Midfielders and wingers. There we go. You heard it first. Wales, New Zealand. Fiji. I'll pick Fiji. Oh, I clearly don't want to win. Clearly, I don't want to win. Up, oh, Fiji. Where you go? No, oh, I can't predict. 
Can't predict. Can you believe there's only three weeks left of the World Cup? That's crazy. Three weeks left, and that's it. We are done. Unbelievable. My God, it's after one o'clock. Jesus, I need to go do stuff. I need to go paint. Actually, I need to go record some videos for this weekend. Uh, for you likely lads to watch these two games. No, nope, that one and this one. That's the job. That's the job for the afternoon. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to go record, paint, lunch. And then I'm going to go find energy drinks. Any more last minute energy drink um, suggestions? I've got a list of like heaps. Oh, is that a football game on? Argentina's leading Paraguay. 1-0. Okay, that's a bit weird. Oh, I am doing... um. I am uh, good for the game, guys. I am doing the video tonight. They do a lot of betting stuff. So if you're into betting stuff, I don't think the betting guys are here. They are the ones... Uh, they do a lot of the odds and stuff. So if you're into... Uh, putting bets on for the World Cup this weekend. Go join those guys tonight. It's in about nine hours from now. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> oh, crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, it's about nine hours from now. Uh, we'll be talking about good betting options for the games this weekend. So if you're into that, throwing away your money, um, you can either be a membership of the channel or you can bet on it. <laughs> either way, it's all good. Um, yeah. So I'm doing that tonight. So stick around for that if you're not sleeping, which you probably mostly would be sleeping. It'll be early morning for a lot of you guys, but um, yeah, it's about 10 o'clock at night for me. So I'll be doing that. Uh, Dills will be there because he's always there to annoy uh, people that I do stuff with. <laughs> but right, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and get some stuff done. Videos for the weekend. Yes, got to do those. Carly in the bin. Like that. We need to make another one. We need to make another one. Oh, why can't I do my, um... Oh, I can. I don't know who would do for other ones. I'm here all weekend. Yeah, we'll be here all weekend. All quarterfinals. We will be here live. For all the red cards. And putting refs in the bin. Because Jack's a champion. With his... One dollar membership. What happened to Wolf? I don't know. I haven't seen Wolf here for ages. We might have to make a new one. We might have to make a new one. Suggestions are welcome. He did disappear. He disappeared at the start of the World Cup. That's the Wolf curse, you see? <laughs> Never forget the Wolf curse of 14 nil on Beer Pro. I was going to play some Beer Pro today, but we ended up just um, smoking out more fantasy teams. Great. Great stuff. Um, yeah, but there we go. Right. I'm going to go get some stuff done. Um, have a good evening. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. Have fun at work, Dills. Uh, yeah, he's only here for Max Wilson. We'll bring Max Wilson back. We could Max Wilson in between um, in between the quarterfinals. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do between the quarterfinals. There's like two hours in between, which is crazy. Two hours between games and um, in between the two quarterfinals, which is... I thought one hour was bad enough. Now they're going to be two, which is just dumb. I know what we'll do. Maybe we'll play some uh, Max Wilson in between. Or um, or I'll just drink lots of coffee in between. And we'll talk crap about fantasy teams. Who knows? We'll sort that out on Sunday morning or Saturday night. But it'll be fun. I'll see you all then. We're going to hop on a call with you for two hours. What are we going to talk about for two hours? <laughs> That's the danger. I suppose I just talked about nothing for three, for three and a half hours. So why not? Why not? We'll see. Sunday morning though, 4 a.m. I will be here. But until then though, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna low. I'm gonna go and run away, and get some stuff done. Thanks for coming by though, team. And of course, thanks for you guys' support. Thanks for the, the champion members. Uh, you guys are the best. And uh, we will see you on Sunday. Sunday morning, bright and early at 4 a.m. I'm going to need a lot of these.
I, I need to actually, what I need to do is I need a coffee machine. In here, I could put it on this table over here. A whole coffee machine. That would be great. We'll make that happen. Right. Throw out. We're sick of you. Get lost. Okay. Right. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Fine. No. Ah, Pen Pen. <laughs> What's up, Pen Pen? We're just leaving, Pen Pen. We're just talking about what we're going to do in the um, two hours between the the uh, quarterfinals. We can't just ditch Pen Pen straight away. <laughs> we'll wrap it up, Pen Pen. I need to prepare for the weekend, my good sir. Oh, poor Pen Pen. You can't be mean. Why is Pen Pen? Oh, it does actually pop up nicely there. You know, we are heading away, Pen Pen. But thanks for coming by, man. Always appreciate seeing you. We're back on Sunday, though. Oh, don't. Oh, I'll, I'll cancel that. <laughs> now we're back on Sunday, Pen Pen, for the um, for the quarterfinals. So be back for that, my sir. And I will um. <laughs> Uh, we'll be back for that. Um, Pen Pen though. Was it? No, it was Arch that put the bets on. It was Arch that put the bets on. I was going to say about, um, good for the game video tonight to get some good odds. Yes, we'll see you back on Saturday, my sir. Uh, thanks for coming by as always. Uh, thanks to you champion lads. We will see you on Saturday slash Sunday. Big thanks for the support as always every time we stream. And, um, it'll be a long one. So we'll see you then. Thanks. Ciao, ciao. Have a good day. Evening, night, morning. Sleep and stay awake. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.